Was it this one? This lady? Hold on a second, let me mute the mic. Is it starting already? It should start.
Hey yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Crisp Purpose back at it again with another Gems of War live stream. What's up, what's up, what's up, chat? How y'all doing, man? Good to see a couple persons checking in in the stream. How's everybody doing, man? Y'all doing good? Y'all doing good, good, good? Got an offer here. What kind of offer is this? Dragonite Gnome Bay. What the hell? Anybody still buying this? Anybody still buying? Hey, yo, Bull, how you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by. Stacy, how you doing? Good to see you stopping by for the stream. Hey, yo, YT Flames. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, Sane, how you doing? Good to see you stopping by for the stream. Good to see a couple persons checking in in here. How many persons we have in stream right now? Right now, we have about seven persons watching. We've been streaming for only six minutes with about eight likes. Thanks a lot for hitting the like button, baby, baby. Am I, am I going too loud here on the mic? <laughs> am I a little bit too loud? Let me see if I need to adjust this. How am I sounding now, chat? Am I a little bit too loud or is the volume good? Is the volume good? Let me know. Type it in the chat. Pretty please. Pretty please with a cherry on top. With a little cherry on top. <laughs> Man, my voice is actually still... Uh, a little bit raspy as a result of being sick for the last couple of days, right? Your boy hasn't been in the best of health. I don't know if it's as a result of... Damn, I don't know if it's if it's just allergies or a cold. I don't think it's a cold. It, it, it was mainly my throat and my sinuses that were, like, having problems. I didn't have any, I didn't have any headaches or, you know, real pains. Um, you know, it was, it was mainly those things that was, like really really bad but just just the throat and then my sinuses were going crazy right it's not everywhere <laughs> uh, not trying to gross you out but it's not everywhere man volume is good says Sane. thank you very much stacy says i think you're good now okay that sounds good very very good can you guys hear the game i don't know if you guys can hear the game the game should be should be playing but for some reason i'm not seeing it pop up with any volume on my side maybe i need to raise the volume a little bit here but can you guys hear the game clearly can you guys hear the volume from the game <laughs> bull says i love the last clip you posted buddy it was very funny <laughs> yeah man but to, to be honest i've been trying to put out a lot more shorts um on the channel because genuinely there are no other youtubers actually it's gems of war youtubers that are putting out shorts for gems of war content or, you know, stuff that's relatable to the persons that follow the channel. So I'm like, let me put out some shorts that might, you know, re reflect some of the opinions in, in the game. And I think overall it is, um, it's catching on. Yo, did y'all see that major flicker on the screen? Is it just me? Or my screen just flicker like crazy just now? What is up, man? That's wild. That is wild. I saw a big flicker just now. No, it didn't happen again. Well, okay, maybe, maybe it was just me. Maybe something was off, right? I think all my lights are on. All right, let me turn on one more light. Give me a second, chat. All right, that light's on. Every light is on. Why am I getting this flicker? Um, Sane says, here in my country, half the population is having some kind of flu. Damn. Oh, really? That's tough. That is crazy. Uh, let me see if I can bring up all the comments here on my on my stream on my phone so I can actually get to see and read every single one. Because sometimes the chat screen here is a little bit off, so I can't see everything very clearly. So, yeah, hopefully I can take care of that. Let's see what the guild is saying. Nothing is happening there. All right, so this week we have a, a Tower of Doom, right? Tower of Doom this week, it is a yellow Tower of Doom. Tower of Doom, I should say. <laughs> Sounds weird, right? So it's a yellow Tower of Doom. I need to take take a look at what is going to be the layout of for this Tower of Doom. Um, <clears throat> uh, Sonny says, I hear the volume of Gems of War faintly crisp. Okay, good, good, good. Um, it says, yeah, game is off. In my opinion, I, you can hear it faintly. Yeah, I have it turned down. I can actually turn it up a little bit. But I think the that volume should be good, right? Should I bring it up a little bit more? How does it, that sound, chat? Does the game volume sound good now? 
Right, so um, I need to get my Tower of Doom taken care of. Um, I need to complete the rooms. How are you guys doing the Tower of Doom? You guys are doing good? Hey, Christ is a black man. Says, greetings from Virginia. How you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by for the stream, baby. Uh, Mark says, good afternoon all. Good to see it. Good to see it. I played the Doomed Weapon. Played the Doomed Weapon what? Let me see what Sane is saying here. Um, what is this? What is this? I played a Doomed Weapon and three times Takshaka. Oh, wow. That, that, that should be a good team. Takshaka is a, an amazing troop. Um, the fact that he's going to get you spell ready is going to be great. Um, <clears throat> Sane says, yo, Mark, long time, dude. <laughs> Has he been away from the game or what? Um, all right, so I need to take a look at my my Tower of Doom. So give me a second here. I'm just going to hop into the guild chats and take a look at where we are. Tower of Doom. See if I can see what's happening here. Tower of Doom. Let's see this. I'm at floor 20, right? Is, is that where I'm at? Floor 20? Floor 2-0? Mm, all right, they're all the way up to floor 40. Good God. Um, chat, I should say as well, the Death Dealers, we're looking for a couple more members for the guild. So if you guys are available and you are an active player, feel free to hop on over to the guild. I think it should be open right now. Um, yeah, come on over, man. Let's let's get some um, some grinding done, right? That's that's my basic, that's my simple advert for the guild, right? <laughs> Nothing super complex. We have spaces available. Come on over if you're an active player. If you're not active, I'm gonna kick you. Sorry, but it, it, it will happen. All right, so floor number twenty. I cannot do this and then stream and play the game. This is gonna be a bit confusing. So I think I'm gonna bring this up on my phone. That's probably the best, probably the best way to do it. Right, so let's go to the PlayStation app on my phone here. Sorry, you can't see the phone. And then I need to go to Tower of Doom chat. And go and find which room I am supposed to be doing. Right, floor, floor number two, zero. All right, there we go. Let's back out of here, and then I can get back to this. Floor 20. As you guys can see, for, for me doing Tower of Doom... Um, I'm only going to be focused on the unlock rooms and then the boss rooms, right? I, I want to just get my sigils and get out of here. I'm not hoping to get to a super high level for the Tower of Doom, hoping to regain some gems or something. No, I'm just simply focused on getting everything done and then moving on. All right, so floor 20, my unlock is going to be room number four. And I'm already on room number four, so that's great. All right, so let's go room number four. And this is the team I've been using, right? So, board 3000 at the top of the team, destroying a buttload of gems. Ginormous amount of gems. The Daughter of Time for control, maintaining my turn, freezing the enemy team, extra turn. She has the temporal for her final trait, 50% chance to convert a yellow gem to an hourglass gem when my turn begins. Um, let's see here, let's see here. Uh, Sane is asking, what platform? Uh, PC, PlayStation, sorry, not PC Mobile. PlayStation. So I'm playing on PlayStation, the guild, PlayStation Guild. Um, Death Dealers is the name of the guild. Feel free to hop on in and uh, check things out, man. See if you like it over here. And then we can uh, we can see how it works out. All right, so Board 3000 top, followed by Daughter of Time, followed by um, Stellarix, right? It's the greatest option to be using in this restriction. Uh, because it's simply overpowered. It allows you to control the board, do damage to the enemies, and just get the job done. All right, let me adjust the chat here. I need to put this on live chat so I can see every comment as they pop up. Can I remove my... Um, no, I cannot remove that. Right, there we go. For some reason, on OBS, why is this thing so huge, man? The section for typing in comments on OBS... It's like ginormous, so I can't fully see the comments that are below it. Only only partially. It's kind of stupid. I like the app overall, the, the software, I should say, but sometimes it's too complex in certain areas and then just straight up dumb in certain areas. I want to see more of the chat here. And then the sections for typing in the comments are just huge. 
huge. All right, so Stellarix on the team purchased this much for potions, right? So as you guys can see, potion of enchantment, potion of explosion, potion of rejuvenation, potion of armor, and then the potion of blessing. That's the furthest that I, that I went in this event for purchasing up um, potions. And then the weapon is at the back of the team. Majority of times, I'm going to be casting Stellaris to one-shot or two-shot enemies. So it should be fine, right? The class that I went with first off is going to be the Mechanist class, as you guys can see. I'm using Mechanist because I have Bork on the team. Of course, if we get to a higher level and fights become a problem and I might be losing my Bork 3000, I'm going to be taking off Bork and... Sorry, not taking off Bork, but changing the class to Elementalist, right? Because Elementalist class is going to be able to stun, freeze, entangle, you know, all that good stuff. To the enemy troops this is a setup though for the mechanist hero class stone wall is going to be the first talent followed by precision followed by are there talents that could fit this weapon in this let's see um yeah i think i'm gonna go with the stone wall missile no nah, it's not another missile weapon um 20 start that's gonna be good uh, 10 start i should say for yellow allies Tactician is going to be good. Mentor is going to be good as well for giving my troops more magic. Banishment is going to be good just in case enemy troops are submerging. That's going to help. Um, followed by the armor plating. All right? Let's get out of here. Let's hop into the fight. So how's everybody been doing, man? Y'all been doing good, man? Y'all been doing good? Staying healthy, not getting sick like me. No order of time. Stellar X. Daughter of Time. There we go. There it is. This is a pretty. This is a pretty good team. Pretty solid team. Pretty solid team. I don't think we should have a problem at all with completing every single fight, every single room. Nothing's gonna be stopping this team, right? Um, I remember Lady Sonny has been saying that she's been using the. What's that team called? The three times Tug Shaka team with the with the, the doomed weapon so as to complete the event. Have you guys been using a similar team or something different from that? Because I, I've seen a, a couple different teams. In fact, I actually put out a video covering about three teams for the, this event. One was the Uvisted team, which to be honest was actually the least fluent of all the teams, right? Um, the the team for the low rarity team, which had T and Long on it, which which I thought was a very, very good team. Um, I think that's actually one of the better teams because it, it will loop over and over and over again, simply based on the fact that it's putting a lot of yellow gems on the board. And then the Doomed Weapon also puts a lot of yellow gems on the board. And I think I saw um, Honest Rob post a team, which is one of the better teams for this particular event in that it uses What's the name of that troop again? He uses times three finesse. Times three finesse and then the doomed weapon. The doomed weapon is creating yellow gems, right? For um, for every yellow ally and enemy. And then the finesses are boosting the stats of all the troops, right? Three finesses, so you're getting 12 to all skills um, whenever you match four or more gem matches. So I saw the team and I was like, man, that team is actually pretty good. So he's using the Stormcaller hero class. I think on the team as well, you can use maybe the elementalist hero class if you want to you're not going to be getting the boost to the the weapon but you'll still be able to loop and gain up gain a lot of stats as a result of using that team i thought it was a very good team uh to be using all right so we're at floor number 21 um the unlock for me is going to be room number three room number three right room number 20 21 floor number 21 unlock is room number 23 all right Sorry. Let me make sure I get that correct. Floor number 21. Room unlock is three. Three. All right. Let's go. Mm. Have y'all been playing PvP that much? Because I've been seeing a lot of players, like, commenting under my posts on, like, Reddit and stuff, saying they're completely avoiding um, PvP. Is that the case with you guys? Are you guys still playing it? Or... You tend to avoid PvP fights. Because I think to avoid PvP fights is the wrong way to do it. You should definitely engage and play your PvP battles. 
right? PVP is very, very important. Why? Why is it important? Um, you're going to be getting the gold marks for just completing about 6,500 VP, right? You need to hit that to get all your rewards and you're getting your gold marks. And then when you get your gold marks, you can purchase Dragonite with the gold marks. You can purchase, um, what's it called? You can purchase deeds, right? So I don't think any player right now in the current state of the game should be avoiding their PVP battles. I think you should do your PVP battles every single week without fail. If you're not going for leaderboard, fine. But at, do them, do the battles, right? You're, you're kind of missing out on a lot. A lot of good things if you if you don't do your PvP fights. Alright, let's go, Stella. Yeah, this team I think is the goated team for this event. And I don't think that any other team can compare to this for how potent it is. With like controlling the board, ensuring that the enemy gets no turn. Right? I don't think anything else is there it is. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm talking about. It's precisely the reason why I'm using this as opposed to using any other team. So much power, so much board control, so much of everything, right? Nothing can compare. All right, so we're at floor number 22. Um, are you guys still in the chat? Because I've I've seen that the, the stream is like completely like that. Nobody's participating in the chat, so I'm wondering, can you guys hear me? Is everything good? We're all good. Seems a bit weird. All right, so we're at floor number 22. Floor number 22, unlock for me, is going to be floor room number 5. All right, let's keep it going, baby. Keep it going. I wanted to ask as well, chat, have you guys been checking out Terran's World? Because some interesting things are popping up in the spoilers on Terran's World, but nobody seems to be uh, talking about it, right? Nobody seems to be talking about it. Right? There are some... Hey, yo, Dark Side, how you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by for the stream, baby. Appreciate it. <clears throat> what you been up to, man? What you been up to? Yes, yeah, so as I was saying about the the spoilers. Have you guys been checking out the spoilers? Somebody tell me in the chat. Have you guys been checking out in the spoilers? Because I, I don't want it to see. Dark Side so it says I can hear you. Okay, that's good. Very, very good. All right. Um see what we're doing here I need some brown gems I already got bork wow wow that's ridiculous that is stupid bro let's see if I can loop over and over here with this this option that's crazy enemy got like two perfect matches completely destroyed my team okay we still got the win Right? We still got the win. Homegirl, Daughter of Time, aka Miss Minutes, and Stellarex still got the win. That's why the team is very well com composed. Very well composed. Alright, so we're at floor number 23. Alright, what the hell did I miss up? Floor 23. My unlock is once again room number 5. But yeah, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Let me go over to Terran's world real quick, right? So as you guys can see, um, on Terran's world right now, let me minimize this. And as you guys can see on Terran's world, right? <clears throat> um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, if you go to your troop spoilers, right? I don't know if you guys scroll down sometimes on these spoilers, but did you guys notice this? Let me see if I can find it. There are some boss troops that are coming into the game. There are some boss troops that are coming into the game. And genuinely, they look very interesting. Here they are. Here they are. Right? So these are the boss troops that are coming into the game. And they look pretty cool, man. I don't know what you guys think. I don't know what you guys think. Right? So there is going to be one boss troop right here. I'm just making sure that I can see everything on the stream. Uh, can you guys see everything? Can you guys see the uh, Terran's world right here? Let me see if I can zoom this up. Maybe it's too small on your end. So let's magnify this. All right, so there it is. Um, so there is a boss troop. It doesn't say when the troop is coming in. Guardian of Bones. 
right? Uses arcane blood and beast, mythic troop, troop type boss. Troop type is boss, right? So that's cool. That's super cool. Um, the spell is Bastion of Bone. It will deal damage, actually magic times two damage plus two to all enemies. Then convert all green gems to uber doom skulls. Right? It looks like a current Dara type, but look, look, look further over here. Look at the, the traits. Right? Look at the traits. Invulnerable. Immune to all status effects. Every invulnerable. Not in, not not impervious. Invulnerable. 75% skull damage reduction. 75% spell damage reduction. Can you all see that? Hey, yo, K-Swiss, how you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by the stream, baby. Chat, can you all see that? Can you all see this? Invulnerable. 75% skull damage reduction. 75% spell damage reduction. What kind of bosses are the devs making? <laughs> what kind of bosses are these, bro? These bosses are crazy. What's up with this? Can somebody tell me what, what's up with this? So if you go over as well, take a look at it. Um, the Guardian of Fire, right? This one looks okay, right? Deals damage, magic times 2 damage, plus 2 to all enemies. Then it will give 10 armor and attack to all allies. That's kind of trash. Genuinely, that spell is kind of booty cheeks. Very weak. No boost ratio. Gives armor and attack. Trash, right? But once again, it's invulnerable. And it's immune to, like every skull damage out there this is, this is one of the highest skull damage reductions in the game with a guardian armor and then the guardian ward that's too much there's another one as well called, called the guardian of light right this one is gonna barrier and bless barrier bless right bastion of light barrier bless that's too much the devs are trying to break the game y'all see it the devs are trying to break the game man this is that's way too much right there. Barrier Bliss. That is too much, man. Um, Hold up, hold up. What is this? Right, let's get back to what I'm supposed to be looking at. All right, see, Barrier Bliss is going to be crazy. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be crazy. Right there, that's going to be crazy. Um, Let's see here. So the last one is the Guardian of Stone. Um, So I, the, the good thing about this... Now, actually, this is a bad thing, I should say. None of these troops are from uh, a Magic Kingdom. Kind of sucks. They're from HP um, and Armor Kingdoms. <coughs> Which is really bad. That's really bad. <coughs> Chat, what do you guys think of these? What do you guys think? K-Swiss says, hopefully no more dragons. Damn. Bull says, uh, Vault Weekend, yup, yup. The most keys I've gotten from Vault is, is just shy of 1,500. You're going to try for 2K Vault keys? Man. That's, that's next level. I don't know if I'm going to be going that far. I'm going to try. I'm not sure I'm going to be going that far, though. Um, let's take a look at the lo last boss troop here. Um, where is he? Final boss troop is the Guardian of Stone. Uh, magic times 2, plus 2 damage to all enemies. Then it's going to give life and armor. Also very bad. So the two that are good seems like the Bastion of Light and then the Bastion of Bone. Those look cool. What these troops are going to be, I don't really know. They're, they're a singular typing. They're a mage. Based on what Terran has discovered so far from um, mining some information in the game. Um, but so far, this one looks really cool. This one looks like it will kill anything right here. The, 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 um, the Guardian of Bones looks like a very powerful troop. Very powerful troop. AoE damage with Uber Doom Skull conversion. With an, imper with an invulnerable invulnerable bro invulnerable that's gonna be crazy invulnerable with 75 percent skull damage reduction oh my god this is gonna be a problem if they ever bring bring back guild wars if they bring back guild wars this troop right here the guardian of bone 
is nasty. This too is going to be powerful because imagine this, right? Imagine you're getting destroyed in a Guild Wars battle. Imagine getting murdered in a fight in PvP or Guild Wars. And you have this guy on the team, right? Fundamentally, this is like, this is like the wand, but better, right? The Guardian of Light, like, uh, Guardian of Light is like the wand, but better. Not the wand, but better. Um, uses all mana colors, as you guys can see. But not only will it bless, it will barrier bless them, right? That is, that is, that is shot. Plus it's invulnerable. So Essence of Evil can't do nothing to this, right? Um, trick or Treat can't do nothing to this. Nothing. If this is going to cast and Barrier Bless everybody on your team, that's it's going to do it. It's going to do it, and there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. If if, 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 if the enemy team is, is hoping to, to put a negative status effect on your team, okay, all right. And then you just cast this, and then everything's good. Everything's good. This is better than the hero using the one. For, for a, from a cleansing perspective, I should say. Not from a board controlling perspective, because it, as you guys can see in the spell, it has no board control. But from a from a spell cast perspective and um, cleansing perspective, it is it is amazing. It is amazing. Um, hey, yo, Jay Shar, how you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by for the stream, baby. Appreciate it, man. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. That that troop, these troops are gonna be, these troops are gonna be some of the best, some of the best troops. At least I think for for Guild Wars, and um and stuff like that. All right, so let's get back to the game here, and finish up what we were doing, man. Let's finish up the Tower of Doom. Um, probably I'm gonna do some dailies, do my underspire, show you guys what I'm using for underspire, and then I'm gonna be focused on doing some PvP. All right, that's gonna be the main thing to focus on right now. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yo, chat, we have any rap fans in the in the chat? Any rap fans? I wanna I wanna talk some rap music while I'm streaming. Right, any rap fans in the chat? Somebody type it up, let me know. All right, so uh, let's go to the, the boss room here. Mm, fireball, there's a fireball and magic in the next next setup of fights. All right, let's get this to work. Some gems. Right. So what? No rap rap fans in the chat? No rap fans? Oh man. That boy taking my gems. There we go. Um, let's let's rant let's what let's what about it mark what did you say <laughs> can't see the chat fully here for some reason uh let me go back up on the stream let's rap about it <laughs> uh let me guess you talking about drake yeah i'm talking about drake i'm talking about the drake Kendrick Lamar beef, man. You got to talk about it. It's, it's the number one topic right now in in rap circles, right? It's what everyone is talking about. So why not talk about it? Um, dun, 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 dun. What, where am I going here? Um, uh, floor number 24. The unlock is room number five. Go down to room number five. <clears throat> but yeah, K-Swiss, we have to talk about it, man. I have to talk about it. Drake came through and shot up the block, man. So I want to see what anybody, if anybody has an opinion about it, drop it in the chat. Or maybe there's no rap fans in the, in, on the channel. Is that stop it? You know, I'm a fan of music. Oh yeah. Come on. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Jay Shar. What do you think, man? The, the, 
How is the beef going so far? Not a fan of Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk? How did Lil Dirk get into this? <laughs> how did <laughs> How did Lil Dirk get into this man? Was Lil Dirk trying to trying to spit some stuff as well at Drake or what? Because it seems like so far everybody is like targeting Drake. And like everybody and their mama. Right? Want to get in on this. But it seems like he's holding his own. At least. That's what it seems like right now, right? The, the this track that he dropped for Kendrick and and Rick Ross and even John Morant caught a stray. I don't think no, that, that wasn't really a stray. It was it was a solid diss, right? But everybody's catching catching a bullet, man. And it's fair. It's rap, right? That's the nature of the game. It's a competitive sport. Kendrick shut them all down from the jump. Nuff said, "Really, really? So you give you give no merits to to Drake's uh, response? Hey, baby girl, how you doing? You heading out? You gonna go? Oh, you smell good. What you what you wearing? Prada. You're in Prada. Come say hi. Say hello. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Bye bye. Bye bye. Give me a kiss. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Right, take care. Bye bye." Hey yo, Cookie Man 420. How you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by. You said talk about rap. I <laughs> said talk about the rap beef, bro. Talk about the rap beef. Uh, let's see who else is in the chat here. Um, Vigilant Crow. How you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, Drake didn't do that with XSX Tentacion. Ah. Uh, was was the XXX Tentacion beef really a rap beef? It was more like they didn't like each other, right? They just didn't like each other. I don't think it was a rap beef. I don't think they were rapping against each other. Nah. Drake ain't no battle rapper. Rapper, stop it! Come on, bro. I'm not saying he's a battle rapper, right? Let let, let me say this, right? One thing about about Drake's music. One thing about Drake when it comes down to beef. Right, um, it, it, it's it's interesting to see that Drake is the rapper, the only rapper that in recent time that will come and call out other rappers by name, right? And that's one of the things that a lot of rap fans remembered from like like previous rap beefs of you know back then, right? Like rappers would come up and like they would. Say it with their chest. Yo, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Yo, you a punk. Yo, you a you a bitch. Like they, they're gonna they're gonna say it to your face. Right? They're not gonna they're not gonna beat around the bush. You know? Um Cookie Man 420 says, I'm good, Chris. How you been? Um uh, the coughing gone. The coughing is still there. Very, very little, very little, but it's it's going away, which is good. As you guys can hear. My voice is still a little bit raspy, but it's 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 coming along. You know what I mean? It's coming along. Drake is more vanilla ice than NWA. <laughs> Man, y'all really don't like Drake, huh? Jesus. But I, let me let me let me just say, he will keep it one hundred when he comes on to calling people out. He will call out other rappers. Frank, straight up, no, no, no going around the bushes here. Sneak this in, right? When it comes to it, Drake will say, yo, Kendrick, your shit was trash. Your last album was garbage. He's going to say that type of stuff. He's going to be like, yo, what are you talking about? Yo, the, every song you have on Billboard, you got it from me. He's going to be th that type of guy. And rap fans overall are going to love that. They're going to love that because... Rap fans love that straightforward, direct confrontation type of lyrics. Rap fans love that. If you're a genuine rap fan, you're going to love that. You're going to love the fact that he's going to come and tell it to your face. You got to give it to him. He got balls, bro. He got balls. Come on. He got balls. Hey, yo, chat. Give me a quick second. I need to change my controller here. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
All right, man, I'm back. Your boy is back. And yeah, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying about about uh, about Drake, man. That I, I love the, the the straightforward confrontations. I don't like the the wimpy. We gotta decipher your lyrics type of a vibe. Nah, I want that raw, straightforward. You a punk, yo? I, I, you 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 talking about you you a ladies man, bro? I just smashed your baby mama. That uh, that type of stuff. I, you gotta love it. You gotta love it, right? <laughs> the fact that he called out that producer Metro Boomin, be like, yo, <laughs> yo, you're 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 you you need to you need to go go make some beats, bro. Like. Like, shut your bitch ass up and go make some beats. That's, you gotta clap it up, man. Straight up. Yo, Metro, go make go make some beats, bro. Shut up and go make some beats. <laughs> the AI Drake this is way better. <laughs> Yo, really? You think so? The AI Drake is gas. I'm not gonna lie. AI Drake got skills. AI Drake got skills, right? AI Drake got skills. Let me see here. Floor number 25. I need to find unlock at room number four. All right, room number four. That's correct. All right, let's go. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I think that Kendrick is is definitely a very lyrical um artist, right? He's gonna he's gonna build I, I, I saw one one um what's his name? I saw one TikToker that that explained the different styles of the different rappers in a very in a very concise way right like Kendrick Lamar is gonna be like the very constructive you know making a building establishing that this I'm lyrical I'm gonna be using um like Aristotle like references and different poetic you know opinions and, and references and styles like that's Kendrick Lamar, right? He's gonna be breaking it down in these different ways, but the truth is, that's just one aspect of rap, bro. That's just one aspect. Being the lyrical miracle type of guy is just one aspect. That's not everything, right? Being a, a good battle rapper at times, right? You're gonna have to come with the sauce. You're gonna have to come with, you know, you know what I mean, the gossip, right? Like, like. We need need stuff that's gonna be shocking sometimes. It's not necessarily lyrical, but it's shocking. And that's what we got with the the Pusha T versus Drake um uh rap battle, right? Because Pusha T came out and be like, bro, you hate you you, you, you got a kid, bro. Chill out. Right? And just like blasted him out of nowhere. And you know, he had to take the take the L. Even though he said he was coming back with some fire tracks, he had to take the L. Because that was just so sensational. And and it seems as if it was something that he was already going to reveal. But at the time, nobody knew about it. It was salacious, right? And as a result, it, it, took, the, it took the win, right? So being good or winning or being a good battle rapper, sometimes the most salacious or funny, you know what I mean? Thing that you could possibly say that's going to grab people's attention. That's the That's the thing to allow you to... To win the battle right and sometimes at so far in in the fight drake got it right that's what that's what drake's been doing <clears throat> shit's been extremely like salacious and be like damn man really coming at them like that people like it right people like it i, I i'm not saying kendrick isn't good not saying kendrick's um Kendrick's song in which he responded on wasn't wasn't good, but let's see what he comes with after this because he, he threw a jab, right, or a punch, and Drake came out punching as well. Let's see what's gonna come on the other side. Let's see if Kendrick is gonna come out with some gas, right, something fire and blow the entire block up, and let's see how Drake comes afterwards because I think that every every real rap beef that's ever been around. There's actually, there has to be at least two sessions, right? Two sessions. One where the initial blow was thrown, and then the response, then a response from the other side after that, and then another definitive response from the other side, and then you're going to see, right? I think that's what's going to show who, who won the fight. 
you right? And to be honest, right? I don't know, man. I don't know who's gonna take it. What do you, what do you guys think? You think uh, it's gonna go one way or another? I think Jay Shar already made up his mind. He think it's gonna go to Kendrick for sure. <clears throat> um, uh, Kendrick been call been calling them out by name years ago. Um, what do you mean on the controller verse? On the controller verse? It's not, not, that's not necessarily a call out. That's just like. He's just saying, yo, he, 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 he's trying to do that. He's trying to be, because even in the song, he's saying he's not going for like Andre 3000 on, on that particular song. He's like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to murder lyrically, right? Everybody else, Drake, Big Sean, everybody else, he's trying to murder lyrically, but that's necessarily a confrontational song. The one that he, he did with the most recent, um, feature on that. Uh, Metro Boomin future collaboration. That was a more straight up, yo, you're not number one. I'm number one type of vibe. That right there is a direct confrontation because I don't know if you, you guys are examining this from maybe a particular perspective, but the truth is if you examine it from the perspective of the audience, right? In the audiences, like the entire rap, rap world I'm talking about. I'm not talking about just one aspect of, of rap. I'm talking about all aspects here. If you examine it from all aspects, right? Drake is the number one artist. Drake is number one. Not Kendrick, not J. Cole. It's Drake, right? It, they can you, can, you can twist it all you want and, and add in like subjectives. I'm talking about stuff that's not subjective. Drake is the number one rapper. There is no other... There's no opinions about it. Even in the song where Kendrick said, in the song, he's like, Prince lives longer than Michael Jackson. Bro, you literally compared yourself to Prince. And you're saying that Drake is Michael. If you're saying that Drake is Michael, there's no comparison between Drake, between Michael Jackson and Prince. It's, it's clear. Michael Jackson is out of here. It's stratosphere. Way out of here. Way above Prince. Prince ain't even close to MJ, right? Not even remotely close. So, just in him saying that, he sunned himself. You literally put yourself below Drake. You 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 said it to yourself and to your audience that that Drake is number one. So that that alone kind of solidified the, the the argument here about who is number one. <coughs> but in the song, he's still trying to say that he's number one. Yeah, it was trash. That's that. That's just what I think, right? Maybe you guys differ in opinions. I think Jay Shar definitely does, but that's what I think. <clears throat> All right, so let's go to this. I think this is the last room I'm gonna do, right? I don't think I get any more sigils after this, or not sigils, but scrolls. Um, room number twenty-six. Unlock is room number two. Door number 26, unlock is room number two. Well, yeah, man, Cookie Cookie Man, what you been up to, bro? You're going to be playing some more, uh, you want to play some, um, some Fortnite later, bro? If you want to play some Fortnite, I'm down. I didn't get to play with anyone yesterday, so I'm like, let's get it in. Let's get it in today, bro. If you're interested though, if you're if you're if you're busy, I understand, Bucko. There we go. Alright. What do we have here? Let's see unlock scroll. Hmm. Okay, let's match this. If I can finish up this fight real quick. I want to head over to PvP. Because I think that the... <clears throat> Let's cast this. Oh, I forgot that I had the weapon for a second. I didn't cast it the previous fight. Completely forgot. Let's go. Nice. 
right? So I think this should be done, right? There shouldn't be any more rooms giving sigils. Yeah, there we go. So that that's it. That's the last one for me, at least for now. If the guildmates want some help in getting more rewards, I might go further. I'm going to pause for now on that section. All right, let's grab this. Somebody did some LTs. Holy Saint Astra. Okay. All right. Um... Cookie Man 420 says what? Drake number one, followed by Eminem and Post Malone. Oh yeah? It, to be honest, this is how I rank rappers. Right? I I I do what's called a, a power ranking. <clears throat> right? Power ranking is similar to football. It's not about what you did before. Right? It's nothing about what you did before. It's what have you done recently. So if you haven't done anything recently, you're going to be ranked very low for me, right? It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you did before. You could have had a million copies sold of a certain record um, first week or a certain album first week. That doesn't matter to me. You had a great song that was popping last year or the year before. That doesn't matter. What have you done recently? So it's in the last six months to a year. That's how I rank people. And that's why Drake has been number one. Because in... If you check from, since Drake came out, say, tw say almost 15 years ago, right? Been popular since about fi 15, uh, 15 years ago. Bro's been in it for the last 15 years. I mean, like every year or every six months, you can look forward to a Drake tra track dropping e every six months, right? And it's going in the top, top 20 on Billboard every year. Every six months, you can see it. Every year, every six months, you can see homie dropping, dropping music. And and that's why he's number one, because he's here, he's relevant, he's doing it. Kendrick Lamar, in genuine in genuine opinions, right, is going to fall out of the top three position every couple years. He's going to fall out every, every year, as a matter of fact, because he shows up every four, every two to three years, he shows up, drops a song, disappears that's nah bro you're not you're not you're not you're not you're not top three at all for me in that opinion that's how i rank rap power rankings not what you did five years ago that's garbage what have you done recently right you done anything recently is is it there nah bro you're not considered you're not important because that's old shit that's old shit right because if you do it that way anybody can come out and drop uh, a, a decent track here and there, and then, and then he, he, I'm gonna be considering you. Nah, 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 nah. Drop more frequently, and then I'll consider you. Know, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. Then I'll take a look. Right? What have you done recently? <clears throat> if you haven't done anything, I'm sorry, bro. I'm not gonna be considering you. Not even remotely close. Nah, <laughs> nah. All right. So, uh, what are we doing now? All right. So I think I'm gonna be doing some. Um, no, underspire, not PvP. Underspire. Let me see where I'm at on the leaderboard first. I'm seventh. Damn. Seventh. Hey yo, Bull, take care, man. Thanks for stopping by for the stream, baby. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Um all right, let's go to games. And chat. This is gonna be my underspire team right here. This is it, right? So it's one of stars. Wondering how I have the Wand of Stars. The world may never know. The world may never know. Diamond Tina. Haven't used Diamond Tina in a minute. Um, the new Empowered Troop. Um, Venerabilex is going to be the option. This is actually a decent Empowered. A decent Empowered. Gives magic. Only one magic. I, I, as a matter of fact, let me back out of here. I need to try and get this sucker up to shiny level 2. Let's see if I can do it. Is he here? Didn't even pop up in that five. Wow. Let's see if I can get him to shiny level two. He gives two magic at shiny level two. This is Arcane Saber Cat. Got the shiny level two. I don't need that. There's only one token for this guy. Maiden of Envy. 
heal damage to an enemy. The enemy has full mana, drain their mana and curse them. Crash. Crash. What does this do? This does nothing as well. Wow. All right, so I got three tokens for this one. Shiny level two, please. This is the Maze Guardian. Create six brown gems and either... This is kind of... This is so bad, man. Why am I getting these troops to shiny level? Two. This does nothing. Hey, Grace. This can go up a little. This can go up a little bit more. That's that's cool. Mm. All right. Come on, sir. Still, I didn't get it. Did not get it. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Man. Enemy has a dragon. It will deal six damage to all enemies. All right. Did not get it. Did not get it. Uh, Cookie Man 420 says, since the shiny troops came out, I never use a single shiny key. Why? Why? You don't want to get any troops to shiny level? Shiny level 2? There's some decent ones. At least they were before. Kind of trash now. Give me a second. I'm to... Let me turn off this TV. All right, let's get back to this. What am I doing here? Uh, under Spire, right? So if you guys want to know how I'm using the Wand of Stars, hop on the Discord, baby. Hop on the Discord. All right, 11 persons in the stream. We're sitting at about 13 likes. Thanks a lot for hitting the like button, baby. All right, let's convert some gems. I convert some more. So let's do the second half of the spell. Yeah, so this team has been pretty good. Been pretty good for the Undus Fire. Gets the job done. Finally getting to use Diamantina instead of Stellarix. It's kind of crazy, man. Just a year ago, we were all celebrating this troop. Right? Now we're like, nah. On to the next one. On to the new best thing. Go. <clears throat> So chat, anybody in the chat have any info on like the PvP changes that are going to be coming? Any info? Hey yo, Benjamin, how you doing man? Good to see you stopping by, baby. Appreciate it. How's it been, Benjamin? It's been a while, right? It's been a minute, man. What you been up to, son? You been up to? Been kicking it? So, yo, Cookie Man, are you going to be playing Fortnite later, bro? I'm asking, man. I want to play. What you up to, man? You down? Cookie Man, are you down, 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 down? There we go. <clears throat> Running through these fights real quick, chat. And I'm going to head over to PvP. What do we have here? A uh, three gem match right there. That's it. All right, let's match this first. The command says, just hit me up, bro. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. What will the Alliance and PvP eventually do? I'm wondering, man. I'm wondering. Um... I'm thinking it's some type of, uh, <clears throat> possibly some type of guild-related PvP um, event. That's what I'm thinking. That's what it kind of sounds like, right? Some guild-related PvP event um, that you rank up based off of your, right, where am I going here? Maybe over here. Maybe you rank up as a guild 
um, as a result of, you know, participating or something. That's what I'm thinking. It sounds like that, but, you know, the devs are, the devs are like the gods. Crazy as hell. So anything is possible. Bro, that's such a bad miss. Man. Let's do this. Yo, get a skull hit. Right. Got it, got it, got it. <clears throat> um, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to get some information on, Mark. I really want to know what the plan is for the alliance in PvP, but so far, everybody that has reviewed or been a part of the beta testing, they've been very tight-lipped, you know, regarding the features and what we're going to be doing and stuff, so... I'm just waiting, waiting to see. I was hoping that somebody in the chat would have some info, but nobody got nothing, man. Nobody got nothing. Benjamin says, it's been a while, but you've been putting... Putting what? Putting what? Breasts in front of my face. <laughs> I've been putting breasts in front of your face every five minutes. Oh, Lord, bro. They're not mine. I ain't got no breasts. I ain't got no titties. It's, it's Medusa, bro. Medusa's been outside, bro. She's been outside in the in these Gems of War streets, man. To be honest, bro, what were the devs thinking when they made that true part? That true part is salacious, bro. Come on. Old Guild Wars has been scrapped. Yes, completely scrapped. Completely scrapped. I think the devs actually put out a. Let me let me check out over here real quick um let's head over to the gems of war website uh gems of war go to the gems of war website and see i think the devs had put out some type of information about <laughs> them scrapping guild wars let's go latest news what was it when did they put out that information about about scrapping scrapping guild wars you guys remember long overdue do you guys remember when they put out the information about scrapping guild wars mm -hmm. remember they put it out some time back when did they put out that info bucko Hmm. There, there we go. There we go. There we go. So this is basically the info that they put out. <clears throat> so they're saying here, hello, adventurers. We know you have been waiting for information on Guild Wars for now. For, fear not. Guild Wars is not being canceled or removed. We have uh, more details of what is exactly going on with Guild Wars below, as well as what's happening in the immediate future. When it was discovered during the 7.3 development that there was an issue with running Guild Wars, we have to delay. Uh, we had to delay any future Guild Wars events. Every time we update the Gems of War servers, we have a series of tests that check for errors. Unfortunately, we have a few tests that like to misbehave. If there are what like to misbehave, if there are no future Guild. What am I doing here? I have to misbehave if there are no future Guild Wars events. That I'm reading that right? Uh, this is why you may have noticed the time of the upcoming Guild Wars events changing in-game. Guild Wars was the very first event we ever implemented back in the 3.0 update, which was back in March uh, 2017. As many players may know, Guild Wars has has a few legacy issues that we have that we haven't been able to solve so as yeah as you guys can see it so that that's the main reason right there it has some legacy issues so it seems as if the devs are going to completely scrap guild wars completely scrap it and build it back from from scrap so at the end here i think they asked um um what did you love about guild wars what new features would you like to see? 
And how often would you like Guild Wars to run? Now, I think here, what did persons like about Guild Wars? <laughs> they're going to get some, they're going to get a lot of varying answers there. They're going to get a lot of varying answers about what people liked about Guild Wars. Um, shoot, what do you guys, what? I think some persons like the competition. I like the competition um, to play against other players. Play against their teams for the most part. Not necessarily play against other players, but play against their teams. Not 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 exactly them. Um I like the fact that it restricted your team in a in a color way. Yeah, like color restrictions is important to ensure that it it is somewhat challenging. Because if, if there's no color restrictions, you, you can use use the most meta team you could find and just wreck the entire enemy team. Right? So the color restrictions create Create a more, create a more balance. Now, is, is it is it really balanced though? <laughs> because if you're if you're playing Guild Wars, right, and you simply don't have a particular troop, which is the best troop for that particular color, um, can you still make it work? Right. If if you don't have a particular mythic or a particular weapon, can you still make it work? It's, uh, on some teams, you can make it work. So, yeah, I think the restriction on color was one of my favorites. Um, what were the other questions here? Um, what new feature would you like to see? Uh, what, what do you guys think? What new feature would you guys like to see? I don't know. Vault event this weekend, do you plan on streaming? I have 20 gaps left, so plan on using them all. Um, shoot. I I hope to stream, genuinely. I hope to stream, but it all depends on how I feel, man. If I feel better like today, I'm going to stream. Right? Um, but it, 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 if I stream all three days, it's going to be more, more shorter streams. More shorter streams, so... Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think I'm going to stream. I think I'm gonna stream. In fact, after I stream Gems of War right now, I might just stream um, some Fortnite. Man, I haven't I haven't played Fortnite uh, <clears throat> on stream since I did it the first time. So I'm like, yeah, why not? You know what I mean? Why not? Why not stream and uh, and see if we can get some dubs? You know what I mean? It's not gonna be easy, <laughs> right? Because you know Fortnite streams are. I, I, you gotta focus a lot on the stream, not a lot on the chat. So I can't really talk and and stream as much. So yeah, you know how that is. Mm. Man four twenty says Guild Wars should be a seasonal event, maybe four seasons in a year. Damn! Wow. <laughs> Jay Shar, I thought we finished talking about Kendrick and J and Drake, man. <laughs> Back at it. Where were you, bro? You didn't. You, you weren't there when we were talking, or <laughs> man came out of left field. But like Drake music is fun. Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar's music is generally serious, down to earth, and seems to touch um, the masses. Touch the masses in in topical areas. Yeah, not necessarily touch the masses in in all the areas. Because the truth is, man, the truth is, music is about the feel, right? Music is about the feel. And I'm not always serious, right? I'm not always serious. I'm not always trying to be down to earth. Sometimes I'm trying to be aloof, right? And a little bit out of it, right? So I'm not always trying to, I'm not trying to be deep every single time. So Kendrick Lamar's music is for a particular time. You know, when I'm, when I'm trying to be deep and trying to, you know, touch bases on social issues and certain problems that exist in society. But not every time I'm about that. Not every, sometimes I'm just trying to, just trying to kick it, man. Just trying to kick it. Trying to be nice. Trying to be smooth and suave. You know what I mean? Uh, trying to trying to drive camp to go get some Starbucks and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? At, 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 at certain times, I'm not trying to listen to Kendrick. Right? I, it, it's, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. It's my personal opinion. But yeah, Cookie Man 420. Um, yeah, I kind of agree that the PvP or Guild Wars should have seasons. And I think that there's seasons coming up for PvP, which is going to be very cool. The thing is, the thing is, 
if there are seasons, right, I feel that there needs to be rewards to fit the seasons, right? There needs to be rewards to fit the seasons. And specifically, I feel that the rewards need to be deeds, writs, deed books, right? To, 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 to force a lot of players that are not playing PvP right now to play PvP, PvP needs to have rewards that they, that they, that they, that they, that they need, man. And I think the random deed books is a step in the right direction, but Ritz needs to be there. Um, and then, uh, what's it called again? Ritz and, uh, and deeds. Those need to be there. Those are going to be some of the critical things that every player is going to need, man. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to have to come here to get to a certain level of magic and certain level of armor and certain level of um, attack and certain level of uh, yeah of everything you know they're gonna need they're gonna need to, to play PvP. I think a lot of persons are still avoiding PvP because it's simply not like essential. You know what I mean? It's you, you need to make it essential. They gotta come here, right? So that you can have a true reflection of the entire player base of Gems of War on PvP, right? You need to have the full reflection over there, and and you're not having it right now. You're not having it. As well as PvP and Guild Wars need to have troops. Right? Troops that you can only get if you play PvP this week or that week. Right? And that's what needs to be in those seasons. If they need to put those troops in. Specific PvP troops for uh, this is a PvP troop you can only get from Southwild or Ancient Ket. You know what I mean? Those specific troops that are from there, that you can only get there, right? Or might have more abilities if you put them in that area. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what I think. <clears throat> that would be a cool addition to PvP. Um, let's see. Uh Vigilant Crow says, add trophies to PvP and I'd be forced to play. Add trophies. What do you mean? You mean gems of war? Like achievement trophies for completing PlayStation trophies. Okay, PSN trophies. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It would make you play PvP for some time, but not necessarily continually playing PvP. Right? And I want I want players to be like feeling like they should continually play PvP. Not just here and there. Continually play, not just here and there. And how often would you like uh, Guild Wars to run? Hmm. How often would I like Guild Wars to run? Shoot. How often would I like Guild Wars to run? Uh. One. What, what do you guys think? I don't know. The, the, the previous schedule for Guild Wars seemed okay to me. Every month and a half, every six weeks. Seemed okay. It doesn't seem like didn't seem like a big problem for for me. Every six weeks, I think some players would probably like Guild Wars. Maybe um, six times for the year, every two months. All right, every two months, some players would would actually like that. So if it if it went back to just being every six weeks, it would be fine for me. If it's every two months, it's still good for me. That's what I'm thinking. It needs to be somewhere in between there. Every six to eight weeks. Sounds like a good cushion. It's not too often that it stresses people out. And it's not too far apart that people don't really care. Right? I think some guilds have requirements in which they... The, the, the players don't need to participate in PvP. Which I think is kind of trash. Sorry, not PvP, but Guild Wars. Um, I think that's kind of trash. I think that every guild should have a requirement... For players participating in Guild Wars, right? I don't want to be going to Guild Wars and playing the same teams, the same compositions every single time. I want some innovation in the game, right? For me, it's all about variety. Things have to be spicy, man. Can't be going over the same way over and over and over again. I want things to change. So that that's my overall pers you know, opinions about it. It needs to change up a little bit. Hey, yo, chat. I'll be right back, man. I'm going to drain this thing. I'll be right back.
All right, chat. I'm back. Um, let's get back to the game, man. Getting distracted somewhat. Um, let's get back to the game, and let's get things going. <clears throat> What are we doing here? Uh, we are going to this room. Right, let's go. Let's go, man. Chat, is there anybody in the chat right now that have all the Sentinels from the On This Wire? Because I'm still struggling to find mine, man. They are nowhere to be found. Nowhere. No matter how hard I try, I actually I tried multiple times to complete all the rooms. Right? Multiple times to complete all the rooms. Still didn't find anything, man. Kind of feeling like these are not even here. Feels like the Sentinels are not there for me, at least. Just not there. Hey, yo, Vigilant Crow. Uh, Cookie Man 420 is asking, what's your PSN, man? What's your PlayStation... Uh, what do you call that? Tag? It's your PlayStation tag, man. Alright, let's go. Bro, come on. Really? Almost got killed here. There we go. Got the win. <clears throat> Got the win. All right, let's check to see how many, how many we got here. Ten persons in the stream with about fourteen likes. You guys haven't done so as of yet. Finger the thumb, maybe finger the thumb. Hmm. So, yo, Cookie Man, you down to play some, uh, some Fortnite on stream, bro? Or not? If you're down, I'm going to stream it. Let's go. Convert some gems. Good. Man 420 says, I have four sentinels, three red, three red, red ones, and one yellow. <laughs> what? That's two sentinels, bro. That's two. I'm talking if you had you have the entire set. Anybody with with like like all all is six, right? All six sentinels, or you're still struggling to find them like me. See, I haven't been finding any sentinel rooms with with like a mythic. I've all I only thing I've been finding is legendary ones and the legendary ones won't drop it. it kind of sucks. All right, so that was a dead end right there. I got to go up here and try. Let's cast the second half of the spell. Go, Cookie Man. Pre Cookie Man 420 says, "No problem, bro. I might as well stream Twitch." Hey, yeah, exactly. If you stream on Twitch while I'm streaming on um on YouTube, that sounds good. Sounds good. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Booyah. Yo, Cookie Man, I wanted to ask as well, do you do you play uh build or not? Because I don't play build at all, man. I don't know why. The the build mode in, in Fortnite never attracted me. It's actually one of the reasons why I I never played it before, but when they created the zero build, I hopped on. Thought it was cool, so I was like, yeah, let's play this. But I do not play build. Build is nasty. Right, you shoot a guy once in build, and all of a sudden he builds a tower, a skyscraper, trying to escape you. I'm like, nah, this is not for me. No way, Jose. Um, 
Pikmin 420 says, I notice you don't get the color sentinel you fight against, really. See, that's the type of stuff that you need to fix. Right? If I'm fighting the red one, I need the red one. If I'm fighting the blue one, I need the blue one. I don't need to get any random sentinel, bro. That's kind of BS. Because then you're going to be in a... I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure majority of players will never get these sentinels. Never. Never. They're going to play for years and not get it. Uh, Cookie Man 420 says, build is frustrating for controller, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like it at all. At all. It's and it's not good. But separate and apart from it being like hard to build, it's annoying, man, to to play someone and you, you shoot him once and he builds a mountain, bro. He builds a mountain, right? A skyscraper in New York. He builds it on screen right in front of your eyes. I'm like, bro, is this what it's about? That's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave this there. Finish that one up a later time. No, not buying those. All right, so let's get our dungeon completed. Yo, who wants to pick the dungeon, man? Somebody that hasn't picked in a while. Somebody pick the dungeon for me. Pretty pleased with the cherry on top. Somebody, anybody? Be kind, pick the dungeon. I'm waiting. Come on, man, come on. Don't take too long now. we got baby nobody jesus y'all tripping nobody volunteer as tribute benjamin says room number six cookie man says one two and five. Oh yeah one two damn son five five was bad enraged Benjamin said six. That was wrong, too. <laughs> Damn, son, that was wrong. Didn't get it. It's fine, though. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What do I have? Death Mark and Fire. So let's go grab the old faithful team. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's complete this, then let's go to PvP. 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 There. Tesla again. There we go. <clears throat> Where are we going next? Over. Bro, that didn't get me spell ready. That's stupid. Mana surge. There we go. And RNG. No matter what, you always get killed with skulls. Killed with skulls. You get the best board and you still get killed with skulls. So anyway, there we go. Alright, man. Let's keep it going. Let's match that. Good. Got that done. <clears throat> Let's move on. And chat, don't forget to do your adventure board. Imperial deed on the adventure board today. So that's pretty good. All right. So let's head over to PvP. All right. So chat, this area right here, Ancient Ket, is a great area to do PvP in this week. I think yesterday it had a uh, blood frenzy on that region. And every single time this resets, what the hell? Right, this is a team board 3000 and it's it's a pretty simple team he the 9000 tesla 
And of course, we're jailbreaking right here. Jailbreaking PvP. Look what we're using. Jailbreaking, baby. And you use the Mechanist Hero class for sure. Let's go this banner. Here we go. And yeah, that's the team. Born 3000, Tesla, uh, Tina 9000, and uh, Wand of Stars. Wand of Stars. Even though it's not supposed to be there, we're still using it. This is, a, this is actually a really solid area to PvP in. Really solid. What? Nobody got spellery? That's crazy. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, but this is a simple area. Very good. In fact, if you are struggling and you don't have your, uh, if you don't have times two for, um, if you don't have this troop, I should say, Tina 9000, just grab times two Tesla. And it should be fine. There we go. This team works really, really well, regardless. Um, one yellow should do it. Let's get them spell ready. Of course. Two Tesla is going to require a lot more magic to get her spell ready, but nonetheless, yeah, that's it. This is a, this is such an easy team to use in this restriction. So I, this is the reason why I'm thinking no player should be avoiding PvP, right? Because there's there's gonna there's, there are gonna be weeks like this, which you can use troops like this so easy, super easy. Right, that's super easy. Here we go. Kill the almost the entire enemy team is dead. There we go. Right? So simple. What do you guys think, man? Y'all agree or not? It's a super easy area to play in. Very, very easy. Let's see where the bloodthirsty is. It's in the Fey restriction. Hmm. What's a good Fey team that we could use over here? Summer Isles has a Fey restriction. Great Fey troops. Let's go base right here. Um, Mandragora. This troop was a Fey? Yeah, he was a Fey. Oh, totally forgot that this was a Fey. Um, Stralis could be used. Ah, Daughter of Time. Okay, this is easy. This is easy. This is super easy. Let's go grab the Wand. Wand of Stars, followed by Daughter of Time. This is going to be really easy. And who else should I put on the team? Leprechaun. Did I use this? The thing is, if I use Mistralis on this team, it's going to be very slow. It's going to be very, very slow. There's no math. There's no fate that's a mass gem destroyer, right? Let's go destroy gems. Destroy gems. Nah, psh, they're all trash. Yeah, they're booty cheeks. This super. What does this do? Destroy seven random gems. Create seven purple. Bro, they need to change this, bro. Kabach. Um, yeah, nothing good destroys gems. Hmm. So, Wand of Stars, King of Ravens, Suna, Leprechaun. Okay. Let me try it out. Let me try that. Pokemon 420 suggested the team. So Suna, Leprechaun. Where's Suna? Suna, the Leprechaun right there. What's the banner, Cookie Man 420? What's the banner, bro? 
the purple banner? King of Ravens is going to have a purple storm. And what class? Uh, you're thinking elementalist class? Mm, elementalist should do it. Elementalist class. All right, let's try. It's the same team I'm going up against. <laughs> it's interesting. Literally the same team. All right, let's try. One missed. Oh, Jesus. That's so bad. That's the one thing with the wand, man. The wand is like so bad. Will it hit here? There we go. Took away their blessing. Took away their blessing completely. Now, uh, the silly thing is on this team, uh, Cookie Man, I gotta think too much. I, I don't like doing that. I don't like doing that. I don't like thinking that much. About what I'm doing here. I can't just play. I gotta think about it. Yeah. I don't like I don't like it, bro. I don't want to have to think about the team too much. I gotta think am I doing this? Am I doing that? I wanna kill him. That's all I wanna do. I just wanna kill him. Uh, so I think Wand of Stars and then this would be the best option. Anything else? These, the phase just seem kind of uh, underwhelming when it comes down to damage. Right? They just don't do enough. Maybe this. Foxfire King. Just don't do enough damage. How about double up on a Foxfire King? How about that? Let's go red, green banner, red, green, menacing brown. All right, let's go. Let's try this out. Let's see how this team works. Yeah, what? I just don't want to think about the team, Cookie Man. I think it's okay, but I just don't want to think too much about what I'm doing during the battle. Right, just wanna just wanna kill him. Hmm. Elemental is doing his thing. Bruh, come on, didn't kill that? Kinda sucks. Now it's about killing this guy. And now we kill the entire team. Oh boy. Man. Yeah, this restriction seems like it's going to be annoying. Annoying as hell. Hmm. Hmm. They just don't have the damage, man. The raw power needed to kill out the. Uh, enemy team is not there. Uh, Ruby McHack, Foxfire, Leprechaun, Leprechaun. Yeah, the fans are underwhelming, man. Very, very underwhelming. Not necessarily not doing the job. Mm, Ruby McCack. Ruby McCack is a relic. Ruby McCack. Leprechaun, Leprechaun. Do I want to go two Leprechauns? 
Maybe a half mana start to make it quicker. I'm gonna try out this team, see if it works. Let's switch to the the matching class. Fey class, fey class. Does this have a storm? No. Storm in this. The storm is in the spell. Hierophant. All right, let's try this team out and see how it works. It's going to not perform as well because, of course, we're going to be going up against the Elementalist class, but I'm still going to be trying it. Ah, uh, Purple Storm. Bruh. Here we go. Here we go. Everybody using their elementalist class. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, man. Nah. The Ruby Cack is not the weapon to use. Use the wand. You only stand a chance if you use the wand. Yeah. Maybe this restriction isn't the restriction to play in this week. Bay restriction is very underwhelming. There are no power hitters at all. In the Fae. There is a power hitter over here. In a Donna restriction. But no, no, not anywhere else. This is trash for sure. Bay of Stars is garbage. Volpacia is garbage. Um, Monster restriction. There should be some troops here. Yeah, there's some troops here. Heavy hitters are over here. Hopefully I can get spell rid. This thing is taking too long. All right, let's cast the one. Is he using Lasher? Lasher, wow. This is the reason I don't like, I have to think about these teams so much. I have to look on the board, do this, do that. just want to cast a spell, man. I don't want to do all that stuff. Don't. They're all blessed now, so I can't instant kill them. Unless I curse them first. Curse them first. Match some four gem matches. Instant kill. There we go. What are you going to do with them? Why did the guy put Lasher on his team, bro? It's kind of... Crazy to think about. Not sure to do what. Here we go. <laughs> so, McDouble Dad, how you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by. You always run it with what? Maxed monolith. Oh yeah, it makes sense. The man monolith buffs are good for it, but still makes it annoying, man. That's why I don't usually like the outer regions. But this one right here, ancient um ket, this one is a good a good restriction. Right? Because Adana troops are so powerful. You know, they're so powerful. Hey yo, Dragor, how you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh yeah. I wish there was a uh, Blood Frenzy on one of the colored areas. The Blood Frenzy is on really bad areas right now. Bay of Stars, Swords Edge troops are garbage. Um, and then phase are so underwhelming. The battles either take too long or they're just annoying. So I don't think I'm going to be sitting there. Let's go over here. Run some PvP on this side. Yeah, this, this is more my speed. Right? Can you guys hear me okay from here? Because I don't want to be too close to the mic. Uh, maybe I need to get a little bit closer. Can you guys hear me good from here? That should be good. Yeah, this is my speed, man. I like, I like overwhelming power on my team. I don't want to be using weak troops, man. 
Nah, it's too annoying. Too annoying. So, yo, Dragor, Mark, McDouble Dead, y'all going for a high level on PvP this week, baby? Or not? Nah, y'all avoiding PvP as well. That's for me, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be gaining my VP to get as much as I can. McDouble Dad says, sounds good. Um, Dragor says, I have a little bit of an echo. Um, I have a little bit of an echo. I don't know. All right, give me a second. Let me see if I can fix it. Hold up. Hold up. Maybe this is the reason, because I think last time I put this behind the monitor and see if it fixed, it fixed it somewhat. Do I still have an echo? Still an echo or not? Let me know, man. Let me know. Let me know. Dragor says, I'm doing as much as I can before Friday. Then vault. No PvP. Sounds good. That sounds good. Uh, where's the controller? All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Mark says, I'm at 35k VP on two accounts. Wow. Two accounts. Damn, son. Is that like your uh, backup account just in case you get banned or something? Oh, man. Um, Gregor says, better. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Bro, the one disappoints. The one disappoints again. Uh, can I get a four gem match, please? Damn, son. Bro, freeze, 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 Jesus. Damn, son. Freeze, man. Freeze, jeez. The freeze not working with me, man. There we go. Leprechaun at the back. What are you doing, Leprechaun? All right, we got him. We got him. Is he cleansed? There we go. Nice. What's up? You you do sound like you're in a fishbowl. <laughs> hey, yo, Bear Razor. How you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by. I don't know if it if it's the room or something. I have the door closed. The mic is right here in front of me. But for some reason, there's a weird echo. Um, Maybe I can fix it somehow. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go to my filter. And y'all can tell me if you hear a change in the in the volume here. Go to my expander. Mm. Tell me if you if you hear a change. Do I sound better? Do I sound a little bit better now? A little bit better now, or do I need to turn it down? Can y'all tell me? Am I a little bit better now? Or is it a little bit too loud? Come on, man. I need some feedback in the chat here so I can see if the sound is a little bit better. Little bit. Little bit. Right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Uh, Bear Razor says, better. Okay. A little bit better. Come on, Stella. Get the four gem match. Stop it. Bro. There we go. Wow, that seems as if I was gonna, um, seems as if I was gonna lose that fight. Mark says the sound sounds okay to me. Okay. Silencing wand is also an option. Yeah, silencing wand is great when you can use like the great king. The great king in 
and like the brown restriction is is really good let me see if i can show you guys the team i put the team on the channel i don't know if you guys checked out the video but the with the wand of stars wand of stars um followed by the great king A no, no, a no what? No vo for shorts lately? What What do you mean, no vo? What do you mean? No fish bowl, okay. Um, what do you mean, bear razor, no vo? What do you mean, no vo? I've been posting a lot of shorts just to like nobody else posts shorts on gems of war content so i'm like it's it's a clear open area for me to occupy so i'm like let's do it no voice i don't get it voiceover I don't know what you mean, man. Can you can you type out everything that you're trying to say? It's kind of eluding me here. Um, yeah. So the brown area, the gray king is like the goated troop here. The gray king, and then you need like maybe a cursing option. Um, Vashdegon is gonna be really good in brown. Vashdegon, yeah, Vashdegon is really good in brown, and then an empowered troop. Empowered. Actually, you can use uh, Soothsayer. Soothsayer is actually really good. Um, it can get the wand spe spell ready very easily. Let's go to Elementalist class. Um, let's do a brown and blue banner. Brown, blue banner. Let's minus yellow. There we go. Banner of Elementals from Nexus. Hmm. <clears throat> Right, so let me try out this team real quick. I might need to set a 20% start on this fight. Um, but I think it should be good. Let's go there. Where have I cast this? It's going to get him spell ready. Yeah, that's what I thought. There we go. And then you just, you just target brown. All right, you just target brown. There it is. Yeah, see? So good. So good. You're not in it describing some things, meme worthy things. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just not connecting for me. Are you talking about the memes that I've been posting on the channel? Um, do you like him? Do you not like him? <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Yes, this team is actually pretty good in this restriction. I really like it. There we go. Let's go brown. Tap a move. Brown again. Yeah, baby. Great King is king in, in PvP. Once he's in those restrictions, Stellar Rex 1 doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yup. Yeah, look how that is, man. That's so fast. That is so good. And I don't even have any um buffs. 
on the troops. No buffs at all. Matter of fact, let me go get a buff right now. Let's go here. Let's go. Let's see what areas I can get those buffs from. Need some magic buffs here. Do I want the buffs for the entire team? Or not? Is there a buff for like brown troops for magic? Let's see, this one is armor, armor, attack, armor, poison, purple, not going there. And you know the interesting thing, Chet? I only get buffs from regions that I can play with fast teams. If the region doesn't give a buff with a fast team, I'm not interested. Uh, they're funny. I just thought for the troops that are releasing, I thought you would be in it describing what the troop is. Okay, yeah. It, it, you see, the thing is, some of those videos might be cool, but they don't get as much, like, responses from the overall audience, right? I, I might put out a video um, telling the troops traits and stuff like that, but for YouTube overall, it doesn't get much views. And even among the subscribers, it doesn't get much much views. So they end up paying nothing at all. You know, they end up paying nothing at all. Like, I might put out a short like that and it gets n virtually nothing for a response. But the ones that I've been doing with the, you know, more comedy, funny shorts, those are actually proving to be very good. Very, very good. Like, everybody likes them. Persons that are... Um, like, for example, the video with the, the short with Medusa. Like, everybody loved that. I think that's one of the highest viewed videos overall. Now, I'm not just talking about short. I'm talking about overall um, on the channel. Like, I think right now, if I check, if I check, let me give me a real quick second. If I check, I think that short has, let's go. The most recent Medusa short has it has eight thousand seven hundred and fifty four views. That's the highest amount of views for any video on the channel. Any video, whether a longer format or a shorter or a live stream, that's the high, highest amount of views on a single video. So I'm like, let me keep on posting some of these. I wish I could make them a little bit different with newer troops but if a new troop comes i'll figure something out and i'll post i'll post some meme regarding it but i think right now i'm gonna be sticking with you know these kinds these kinds of meme videos they they, they do very well so uh, let's see here dun, dun, dun. Maybe because Lester left 69 likes because he's thirsty as heck. Yeah, he is thirsty, huh? But yeah, that video did really well. And hopefully, I can uh can get some other videos to perform like that. Like I think I had one with with the with the monkey trying to escape. That one was funny as hell. Make a meme every time for a new mythic? That sounds like a good thing. Draco, that sounds like a great idea. Sounds like a very good idea. Um, the next new mythic is going to be good. You guys have checked it out already? Have you guys seen it? I posted it before on Discord. I don't know if everybody checked it out, but it's, it's a pretty good mythic. Um... It's gonna deal damage like the Great King, but what these cleanse, bro? That's wild, All right? Stop matching gems. There we go. All right, got the kill. Yeah, so the new mythic that's gonna be coming out. Uh, Dragor says. Uh, also, we got a great empower converter. This week, yeah, that um, Venerabilis, I think that's the name of the, tr the troop. Venerabilax, Venerabilax. Um, it's pretty good. 
No, 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 no. We are not doing this. Not doing what? What are we not doing? Cookie Man 420, what are we not doing, sir? Alright, where can I get another buff? Um, Maybe here? Ah, oh, there we go. Let's go. Let's get this one. Yo, Cookie Man, what are you talking about, bro? What are we not doing, sir? 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 Listen to my voice, man. Shit's crazy. Crazy. Sounds so bad, right? Uh, Mark says, "Wow, we need. I I need to get the Great King. <laughs> LOL, amazing. Yeah, man, it's it's, it's a go to troop. It's one of the the Great King is one of the best troops in the game. One of the best troops in the game. He really shines in in competition where you need to." You need to you need to silence the enemy to to prevent them from being able to loop and do damage to your team. Like it, you you put him together with the elementalist class, the Great King is one of the most powerful troops in the game. Once those two are combined, because you're you're silencing the enemy, you're stunning them, you're freezing them, and then um, you're entangling them. There's nothing they can do. Bear Razor said, for troops that are good on paper, should leave an important notification. Um, what do you mean should leave a notification? Should, should leave a notification. Are you talking about the devs or or, or 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 I should do it? I think I can post when there's like game-breaking troops coming in. I should definitely post about them, tell what the troops are going to be doing, um, what the spell is and stuff like that. Um... I just don't know if I should be posting every single troop coming into the game. Even though posting every single troop has its upsides, um, it could be somewhat of a library for players to come and check out. Oh, uh, this is how the troop actually was when it came into the game because I would have made a video about it so you can come back to the channel at some point in time. In the shorts, yeah, yeah. That, that sounds good. That is true. That is true. That is true. So maybe I should post those videos regardless of the responses right the interaction on them is very low but could be useful what the hell is up with this board come on the hell bruh give me some extra turns sir here we go got the win got the win uh dragor says the great king is awesome in guild wars and if you just want to lock down the enemy yeah it really does that completely stops them from doing anything right the simple four plus gem match they can't take anymore and when you combine it with a cursing option, it's great. Because you can stop the elementalist hero class from stunning you. Right? You can stun him, stop him from stunning you, and that, that will make it even more OP. Bruh, come on. Let's do it. Nice. Nice, nice win. Nice. <clears throat> right, so I think I maxed out my magic damage. I don't have that much uh, Valhawk sigils, so that's going to be it. That's going to be like 12 magic in addition, and then uh, let's go back over to Adania. And you can do lower level battles as well. So for example, chat, in areas like this, uh, this is Kimmy 500, that's cool. Um... In which you are having fights. Look, every single fight, the only difference here is the the amount of trophies you're gaining. Right? You can just pick the lower fight because it's going to be less durability than that one. Pick the lower fight should be quicker to kill. Right? Way quicker to, click, to kill. Uh, let's get this off the board. 
And if you want as well, you can use a, a 20% start in these fights. Bro, come on. Such a bad miss. Give me one second. Cam is messaging the hell out of me. She just said, check your phone. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, let's get back to it. Should I cast Vashtagon? Yep. Yes, sir. Um, Beer Razor is asking, do you like Japanese TV shows? Anime. I, I love anime. I don't know if that's the kind of Japanese TV show you're talking about, but I love anime. I love everything anime. Um, yeah, anime. If it's anime, I'm, I'm, I'm down to watch. If, it, if it's, um, yeah, I think, I think I like Japanese TV shows if they are related to, like, like, samurais or... Or, uh, what do you call it? Like, samurai-related stuff, ninja-related stuff. Not not no daytime drama type of stuff. I, I don't like that kind of stuff. Right? I don't want no daytime drama stuff. Hey, yo, Mets Worldwide. How you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by for the stream, baby. Appreciate it. So, what kind of uh, Japanese TV shows are you talking about, Beer Razor? All right, let's keep it going. Win. Dude, look at that, man. Bro, this makes such easy work at it. Nice. Do I have another Valhog? That's nice. Very good. Have you watched Super Senpai, which is what inspired Power Rangers? Super... The Super Sentai. Super Sentai. Or Super Sentai. Super Sentai. Um, nah. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. Super Sentai. Uh, Dragor says he went back and started watching what? Went back and started watching Dragon Ball. What, you mean old school Dragon Ball, bro? That's nice, man. That's cool. That's cool. Where where are you right now in that particular series? Are you, are you, are you watching like the... What do you call it? The, like the tournament fights or, or something else? Elemental is about to wreck. Bro, he hit brown? He didn't hit brown? Did he hit brown? What did he touch? He hit green. Damn, son. That's tough. That's tough. About to lose this fight. See if I can deal some damage then. Some damage at least. <clears throat> Come on, hurry up. That's tough. Great King hit me with the Great King attacks. It's crazy. The Kid Piccolo art. Oh, wow. Not bad. That, that's a good spot. That's a good spot. Old school Dragon Ball is goated, man. Old school Dragon Ball is goated. Yo, a Bear Razor, since you mentioned uh, Japanese TV shows, um, this isn't particularly from Japan, but right now, it's it's about Japan, though. Right now, I've been watching Shogun on, I think I've been watching it on Hulu. It's also on, what's it called? It's also on, what's the name of that, that service I have? 
Disney Plus. It's also on Disney Plus, but I've been watching it on Hulu. Um, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Hey, yo, chat, give me one second. I'm going to go grab some food, and I'll be right back. I'm feeling a little bit hungry. I'm going to go grab some food. I'll be right back. I'm going to be playing some music as well, so hopefully you guys can enjoy that. I'll be right back. I right, chat, I'm back. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Coming through loud and clear? I have to grab some snacks, man. I was hungry. Just a little bit. So I have a, a, a burrito that I was eating earlier. And it's, it's delicious. So I gotta I gotta munch while I uh while I play here. Right. All right, chat, give me a quick second. All right, chat. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that. You know how it is with the wife. Dragor says, "I want to. I want to see the original because I'm watching Kai next." Oh wow, that's cool, bro. That's cool, man. Dragon Ball is like, it's one of the best animes ever.
Cookie Man 420 is having what? Caramel flavored popcorn. Bussin, huh? Bussin, bussin. Right, let's go. Let's get this dub ski. Ooh, that's crazy. Nice. Nice big hits, man. That's what I want to see. Can I get the kill here? Nah. Denied. Denied. Alright, let's go. There we go. Not bad. At least we're still winning. So, Bear Razor, you're saying that that series was the inspiration for uh, Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Hmm. I haven't seen it, but sounds cool. What service are you watching it on? All right, let's grab the fight against Retro. Ooh, we got another Val Valhawk. Nice. That's one. Come on, but sometimes the one just misses sometimes and gets under your skin, man. Jesus. Bro, just do the right thing. Don't miss. God. There we go. Oh, bro, I forgot about you. Got him. Got him. Dragor says, who is it? The judgment is in the vault keys if anyone needs it. Hmm. Which troop is judgment again? Which troop is that? Let's go take a look. Uh, judgment, judgment, judgment. It's a construct, right? Oh, uh, this one. Oh, this one's from the previous campaign, right? It's finally in the vault key drop table. So yeah, people can go grab it. Information brought to you by Dragor. All right, chat. I was saying that we need to take a look at the... We need to take a look at the next um, mythic. Right? So let's take a look at it real quick. already on Terran's world, so let's go have a look. Right, so one of those troops next mythic. Here he is. Where is he? Oh, here he is. Here's that bad boy. Um, Can I go back? Yeah. This is the full troop art. Kind of Crazy looking, right? But his spell. Let's run the spell. Close this off. Right, so this is a troop. I think it's pronounced Gravanga. Gravang Gravanga. Is that how you pronounce it, right, Chad? Uh Gravanga, it's a mythic from Hellcrag. Hellcrag has been getting some love recently, right? It's a Damon Construct. Uh, 24 mana cost. As you guys can see, it uses blue, is that uh, brown and yellow mana? So this is Hiking Iron Gut Colors. Um, right? Emerald for Insight. Emerald for Insight. That's the same. Oh. Seeing Stone is a spell. It will convert all gems of a chosen color to good gargoyle gems. Then he's going to deal magic times 1.5 plus 4 damage to all enemies of that mana color. 
Then he gains an extra turn. Right? And that's where it becomes powerful. Right there. It becomes powerful right there, man. Um, that's OP. All right, that section right there for the extra turn is where it becomes good. It was okay before this, but yes, now it's really good now. It's really good. What do you, what do you guys think of it? You guys like the troop or not? What do y'all think? Y'all like it? Uh, Dragor says extra turn is always good. Yeah, that's true. That is true. <clears throat> extra turn is always good. Um, let's take a look at the traits here. So it will have mana shield. So it's immune to mana burn, mana drain, mana steel. That stone skin, 50% skull damage reduction. Final trait is good omen. It will explode a good gorgoyle gem when my turn begins the thing is are there any troops in the game with like a decent boost ratio off of gargoyle gems is there anything because the, the fact that it's a construct 50 percent start from the construct hero class very good um so it's like an inverse great king great king destroys gems off the board this converts a particular color into good gargoyle gems but are there any troops that have a good boost ratio off of good gargoyle gems let's take a look um good gargoyle gems let's type in gargoyle because they still haven't updated this as of yet oh gargoyle So these are all the troops, everything from highest rarity to lowest rarity, right? And they are all from all except one from Hellcrag. Uh, two, two actually. So the doomed gargoyle is from Nexus, and then gargoyle, which is crazy, huh? Um, this is from uh, this is a faction troop from Hall of Guardians. So yeah, not not. Not much to pick from. All from the same kingdom, which could be good. You know, magic bonuses and stuff like that could be good. Armor bonuses making them more tanky. So this troop has a 50% chance to create a good gargoyle gem when my turn begins. Trash. Trash. You wish it was creating multiple good gargoyle gems. This one has... This has the ability to create a mix of five good and bad gargoyle gems. Not so good. Obsidian Axis has a 30% chance to create an evil Gorgoyle gem when my turn begins. Not good at all. This can create one Gorgoyle gem. Um, this is what? Zenith. Zenith can create a evil Gorgoyle gem. And the, the boost ratio on the previous troop is... Um, the convert is good gargoyle gems, right? It's good gargoyle gems and what else? Good gargoyle gems. Bring this up. Yeah, so it converts them to good gargoyle gems. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so it needs to be good, not the bad ones. It needs to be good, not the bad ones. So how's that gonna work? Is there anything that gets a percentage chance of an extra turn based on gargoyle gems? This just does random gargoyle gems. Um, this does random as well. Which is good. It's another extra turn troop. Kind of okay. The thing is, the, the gargoyle gems are going to require a mass gem destroyer. To make it smooth. Because this does evil. This does one to two gargoyle gems. This doesn't do check. <laughs> it gets more durability. Pull an enemy to the front. Kind of booty cheeks. Um, 
stone blocks into either good or evil gargoyle gems and explode a gem trash mm, stone mythite create a gargoyle gem poison a random enemy for each green gem under or around it extra turn trash um stone panther this creates three good gargoyle gems is i think that troop could be good to be honest I think that troop could be good on a team with board 3000 or something like like board any mass gem destroyed so it it, it 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 i don't think there's anything else that can benefit from the gargoyle gems on the board the good ones at least yeah these don't do these don't do nothing these don't do nothing obsidian assets will have a decent a little bit more damage to him right because that troop can put a lot of gorgoyle gems on the board at once but after casting obsidian axis he's not doing that much damage he's boosted by gorgoyle gems his damage is boosted um so it's plus three for each gargoyle gem but that's about it that's about it you pair this with zenith nah not with zenith not with zenith at all zenith does evil gargoyle gems that one this does, does see Boosted by evil gargoyle gems. So they need to be the evil kind, which is what Zenith produces. Um, the Petrified Treant. Explodes three good gargoyle gems. Um, yeah, he does, but after he does that, he does not get, keep the turn. He only explodes three. Right, so it's not like exploding three boosted by... Explode three gems boosted by gargoyle gems. You know what I mean? So he won't be able to even generate that much. He just gains armor and, and attack. So maybe in a faction, this sucker could be good, but not, not otherwise. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so there's nothing that, that has like a super OP boost ratio. Just okay. Matter of fact, let me see if I can middle this legend. Don't have the medals. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Dragor says just use a board exploder. That's what I'm thinking. Board three thousand with that troop probably is going to be pretty good um, because you work, you gain the you you, you gain work to get him spell ready. You use you use the spell deal damage. Like for example, you use it in, in the brown restriction or the yellow restriction, or the blue restriction. It's going to be pretty good. Because you're going to be able to give your team every positive status effect in the game. Because if you hit brown, and you have a brown storm, and there's a lot of brown gems. So for example, you have like five or six brown gems on the board. That's a heavy amount of status effects for your entire team. Right? And then you 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 cast Bork. After you cast that troop, you get spell ready again, and you cast him. The thing is, in between the Bork... And the cast from the the new mythic, you're gonna lose a turn. So right there, you could lose. You know what I mean? I was thinking of something that could loop perfectly into each other. That's what I'm thinking. I'm always trying to create that perfect loop. You have gold orb, nah, bro. What are you talking about? Gold orbs are for mythics or very special troops that are doing great things. I'm not wasting no gold orb on no obsidian axis. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, sir. That is a big no no. No no. Oh yeah, man. Bro, that didn't get spell ready. Bro. Man. Man, oh man. Why does the one do this to me, man? Jesus, bro. It's ridiculousness. Don't do me like that, one. Don't do me like that. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Dragor says, here's a nutty idea. Convert entire board to gargoyle gems. 
the board is going to reset. You remember the gems added that as a uh, as a fail state to prevent the board from locking up, right? It will just reset. All the gems are going to disappear off the board. No effect to your team or the enemy team. And brand new gems are going to be... And brand new gems are going to drop on the board. Yeah, is that the wormhole? Is that the wormhole on the on the grape? Yeah, is that a wormhole? That, that's definitely a wormhole. I'm not having that. Yeah, the two last grapes are trash, man. God. Oh, they did, LOL. Yes, they did. They don't want that type of problems. That's too much problems for the devs. People will be complaining like crazy about that, bro. That would be too problematic. Because I know some Gems of War players would definitely create annoying ass teams to lock up boards and just cause it to reset. <laughs> and I, I'm I'm the annoying player. <laughs> I would definitely do that, bro. I would definitely do that. I would make the board so annoying it's crazy. Players would rage quick. Nice. Bro, come on. Dragor says me too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. Right? People will become so annoyed. They'll be like, ah, oh, man, I'm done. I'm done with this. You know which team in the old style of PvP used to do that to me? Um, The Lost Teams. The Lost Teams with Life and Death used to make me quit so much. Just quit the battle, man. Like, forget it. Annoying ass Life and Death used to be a problem. But now, you don't see it as much, right? Have you not been seeing Life and Death in, in, uh, in your PvP fights? I haven't seen it at all, to be honest. I think players are just using the Wand of Stars so much that, like, forget about Weapons like life and death and trick or, trick or treat. Man, I haven't seen that in a minute. That was everywhere at one point in time. Everybody and their mama had that team. Right? That the enraged Kurandara with um the tower. Trick or treat. And and uh what's the class called? Orb Weaver. Oh my god. Oh my days. Oh my days. That used to be everywhere in PvP. Every three trophy fight, every second three trophy fight, it was there. <laughs> right there, just to be annoying. Right? And you're coming through with your Zulga team, killing enemies, boom, 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 boom. You get destroyed by that thing. Oh my god, that was annoying. I remember I made a specific video, excuse me, to show people how you can counter Enraged Kurandari teams with the tower and, and uh, Trick or Treat. That's made a video specific for that, right? Because of how annoying it was, man. But but I can't I can't blame him because some at one point in time, I set that sucker as my defense team too, right? I'm like, all right, all right, I'm gonna fight fire with fire, man. Fire with fire. Forget about it. I'm not playing nice. I do the same thing y'all doing to me, right? Same thing. Whooping ass with this same team. Uh, Dragor says what? Uh, Dragor says yeah. They used to, they used jar of eyes and kept getting that lust damage. Yes, man. My God, the lust team was disgusting. 
disgusting. Then the devs kind of nerfed Jar of Ice, which kind of saved, you know, saved us somewhat. And then the Life and Death team came up with a with tower. Man, and then, and then after that, players would switch it around and use the... Uh, where am I going to target down here? Then players would use the trick-or-treat weapon. The trick-or-treat one was disgusting. Because once that thing started casting, you could you could sometimes fight a, a battle and get away with killing life and death. But when trick-or-treat started casting, bro, it was over, man. You were not winning. You were not winning at all. Um, no matter how hard you tried. Shit. Over for you. Right, and then the tower was near impossible to kill in certain fights, right? Because it, it's invulnerable, plus it has skull damage reduction. That's what I'm saying, right? That's what I'm saying. These troops here that I was talking about, these troops here that I was talking about, these troops are going to be such a problem, bro. Let's go to Terran. Let's go back. Sorry, that's the wrong click. Wrong click. Let's go back to Terran's world. These troops here, right? I don't know if you, I, I spoke about this earlier in the stream. But maybe you guys can check it out again. Um, here it is. You go all the way to the bottom. Right? There are some boss troops that are coming into the game, which I think need to pay people to pay, pay, pay attention to. You need to pay attention to these. Right? Guardian of Bone from Midnight. It doesn't say the date. The date is not correct. Right? 2030 is not correct. Forget about it. It's not correct. Right? It uses um, a Blood and Beast myth, mythic troop. Um, boss rarity, right? Boss rarity, not not. It's a soul god type, right here. Um, mage, look at the spell, Bastion of Bone. Deal damage, right? It's gonna deal magic times two, magic times two plus two damage to all enemies. Convert all green gems to Uber Doom Skulls. Uber, right? Uber uses all mana colors, right? So this is a Stellar X type, twenty four mana cost, broken already. Super low mana cost. One Leprechaun cast. Spell ready. Right? Super easy. Super easy. And look at the traits. Invulnerable. If it invulnerable with a 75% skull damage reduction and a 75% spell damage reduction. Holy! What are the devs even thinking? What are the devs even thinking, bruh? They sipping on something special over there in Australia. Something different. Load. 75% hmm? skull and spell damage reduction. This is unfair. Right? If if you are having anxiety and stress about PvP, when you run into one of these sons of a biscuit lickers. May the RNG gods be in your favor. May they be in your favor, sir. Your ass will be grass after this cast. If this cast, yo, listen, listen to what I'm saying. You, your, your, your essence of evil ain't gonna do shit. Your essence of evil ain't gonna do shit. This is invulnerable. The essence of evil gonna be trash this, right? You, you cast your essence of evil on this. This thing is gonna be looking at you like this, like. What, what you doing, bruh? What you, what you doing, bruh? What you what you doing? You're doing nothing. You're not you're not doing nothing. Calm down, right? Nothing. Invulnerable, right? Invulnerable. <laughs> it, it, you, you think it's not just one bear razor and Drago? It's not just one. Take a look. Take a look at it again. Let, let's take a look at it. Right? There's one right here, and then down here, a Nexus Guardian of Fire. Bastion of Fire, deal damage. Magic times two, plus two damage to all enemies. But the second part of the spell is kind of booty cheeks. It's going to give armor and attack. Ten armor and attack. Who the hell wants ten armor and attack? For what, sir? What are we doing with ten armor and attack? Trash. But once again, it is invulnerable. 75 skull damage reduction. 75% spell damage reduction. You, you, you can't kill this, right? This is near unkillable right it's you're gonna be in an endless fight the gems are trying to turn gems of war into bejeweled right you know those infinite fights in bejeweled you just keep on going from level to level to level this that's it that's this shit right here that's this shit right here right 
Guardian of Light. Now, this one is going to be your worst nightmare, right? Guardian of Light, spell, Bastion of Light, deal magic times 2, plus 2 damage to all enemies, barrier, and bless all allies. Oh, my days. Barrier, bless all allies. Jesus. And then this thing is also invulnerable. And it, look, 75. And another 75. This thing is going to be... Imagine this on a team with the Wand of Stars. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm? Mm. Oh my God. Boy, let me tell you. Let me say this. Let me say this. When you run into these teams in PvP, you're going to need a brand new ass. Because they're going to rip you a brand new one, bruh. They're going to rip you one so nice. So nice. Bruh. Jesus. You're going to need a brand new ass. Uh -uh. It going to be a raid boss, Chris? Who, who says? Who says? Who says? Are you? Do you know about it? For sure? It's only going to be a raid boss? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm just taking it at face value. Right? I, I think they're going to be player-used troops. Um, Bear Razor says, Oh, it might be a new boss for boss week. <clears throat> I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a raid boss for some reason. I don't see anything there that indicates that. Um... Uh, I don't see anything that that, that, that says that. I, I'm taking it as if they're going to be like the other boss troops, that like the dragon bosses. You know what I think they're going to be? Based on the name, right? Let's take a look at it. Um, Dragor says maybe it's going to be for the boss week. Maybe one of them is going to be. Maybe one. Maybe one. One type, right? Maybe one type is going to be that, that for that. Maybe one type. Not all of them. Not all of them. One maybe is for... One is going to be for player use. And the rest are going to be for, for uh, raid boss. Whatever it is. But highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. You know why? Raid bosses are usually strikers. They're strikers. Right? Zulgot, Katharisk, strikers. Not mages. Mages are for player control. Right? Right? Mages are for player control. And even more so, right? If you take a look at the um, the spells, there's never been a boss for AI control that does AoE damage and converts gems, right? Like Enrage Corindara, we don't see Enrage Corindara in raid bosses. Or or uh, or Stellarix, or... Or, uh, not, not Stellarix, but Diamantina. We don't see Diamantina in, in raid bosses. Not at all. Hmm, remember when Catharis came out? It's the same thing. We'll get the vulnerable, vulnerable version. Um, but yeah, it, it's a possibility. I'm not saying it's not possible, but based on what I'm seeing right here, there's no indicator of that. Uh, Dragor says, look at their mana. Raid bosses are often six color. Yeah, but psh, bruh, what do you mean only raid bosses? Um, let, me, let me show you here. Let's go back up here to the top. Let's go back to the top. All troops. Um, push this over. All right, load up Terran's world, load up. Let me see if I can show you. Let me see if I can show you real quick. I don't want to move my mic too much. Um, let's go here. Right? Diamantina. Boss troop. Right? Boss troop. Six colors. AoE damage. Right? 
Um, Zulga. Boss troop. Right? Singular targeting. Three colors. Right? Then you go Catharis. A boss troop doesn't have to be... Yeah, boss troop doesn't have to be that particular way. The main thing for me, it deals AoE damage. Those are usually player controlled. AoE damage usually signals um, player control. That's what I've seen every single time. I haven't seen any um, any boss troops that are for AI control and they are they're, uh, they're AoE damage like this. This seems like player control right here. It's not it's not far off. You have to remember, um even if these troops are invulnerable, which is true, I think players now that's the reason why you're gonna be having um why you're gonna be having troops with the ability to deal um a high amount of damage based off the buffs, right? So for example, I think this is the reason the devs added let me switch back here. I think that's the reason. The devs added things like this. Let me see if I can back out of here so I can show you. Um, you go over here to the buffs. Right? Let's take a look. Um, there is a buff here for boss boss damage. There it is. There it is. Right there. Right here. So there is a buff in the game for boss damage. Hey, yo, Clip. Boom! What's up, Clip? How you doing, man? Clip with another re-up on his subscription, baby. Appreciate it, Clip. Been a member for six months, sir. Thank you. And Clip came, coming through with the two dollars. I appreciate it, Clip. Thanks a lot, man. You're the real MVP, Clip. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, let's see what Drake Gore said here. Hey, yo, Banana Man, how you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by for the stream, baby. Appreciate it. They had a different version of Zulgod. Kathy, but for the other boss troops, there is no second versions of them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, but this one is different from this would be the first time ever they added an AoE damaging boss with the uh, AoE damaging boss for like AI control. Right? That's usually for player control. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. So if, if the, the reason why they added this is so as to kill out those bosses. I think that's the reason this is here. This right here, that's the reason we have this, right? For those boss troops. I think those boss troops are going to be coming in pretty soon, right? Pretty soon. I don't think that's a far off. Maybe next update or the update after that. I think that's when we're going to be getting those, those new boss troops. They look great. They look great. I always love overpowered stuff in the game. Um, some players don't like it, but for me, me, I prefer it, man. I love when I have overpowered troops to use. All right, let's get back to some PvP, baby. PvP. PvP. Right, let's go. Hey, yo, Clip, what you been up to, baby? What you been doing, man? Been kicking it. I could have killed with Vashtagon, right? Not, not quite. Not quite. There we go. Uh, Dragor says it's only fun when you have it. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> It's true, it's true, it's true. Right? <coughs> if you don't have the troops and you know shit. It sucks. It sucks. I know for, for, for players right now that don't have Stellarex, it is a pain. It is a pain. You're coming across it every single time in uh in PvP. Oh, you're, you're, you have a day off today. Oh, that's sweet. That's nice, man. Me too, man. Been here kicking it, chatting. Started the stream a little bit earlier. 
You know what I mean? But yeah, it's been good. That sucker is blessed, right? Ooh. Gotta get my troops here. Come on, Grey King. Come on. There we go. End of you. Yes, sir. Adam. Yeah, man. I love this team. Love, love this team. Does the job. Yes, sir. Grey King is nice counter, though. Yeah, man. It's a full counter. It's a full counter. And once you use a Grey King with a troop like Vashtagon or Corindara or Enraged Corindara or maybe even um, Darksmith Drenza. Like the Darksmith Drenza option, if you don't have um, Vashtagon, you can use Darksmith Drenza as well. It's not as potent as um, Vashtagon, but it, it can still work. There we go. So Drago, are you using the same team right now? Flip, what team are you using for PvP? And what region are you playing? Uh, let's cast this here. Is for, for right now I'm just playing in the in the brown restriction. I think it's the best area to play right now. Um being at the fact that the other regions right now are very slow and somewhat, you know, tedious and annoying to play in. So I'm just sticking to this area. I was hoping to get a blood frenzy and maybe a colored restriction, but nope, RNG said nah. So I'm just working with what I got right now. Nine persons in the stream with 10 persons, I should say, in the stream with 20 likes. Thanks a lot, chat, for hitting the like button, baby. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Now, let's grab some purple. Oh, wow. They're using the mountain for sure. Oh, come on, bro. Come on. Interesting team. Not necessarily a PvP current team. That's kind of an old team setup that they have here. Not the best. There we go. Got the win. Dragor is in Central Spire. I'm using uh, Wonder Stars times two Stellarix and Takshaka on Switch. You don't have a third Takshaka. Yeah, I, I've been using Takshaka as well. The thing is, I don't know. Every single time I've used him in a fight in PvP, the AI always gets the gem matches. Not me. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn. Why is it that I'm I, I have the troop, I'm trying to do this, and he gets the gem matches and not me. That's kind of trash. Right? Like every single time those uh those uh wild cards come on the board, it matches for the AI. It does not match for me. I'm like, damn, is there something wrong with my team or what? Or, or the way I'm playing or you know, I know it's bad RNG, but it, it makes you think otherwise. I'm like, damn. It's just not working out. That's one of the reasons I haven't been using Tukshaka to do, like, the times 3 Tukshaka with, like, Stellarix option. Because, I don't know, man. Screwing me over every single time. Screwing me over every single time, man. All right, come on. Quick win, quick. Come on, sir. Quick win, man. Quick win. There we go. Yeah, I, I was thinking before that Stellarex was the most powerful option for for doing PvP. Not anymore. Big homie right here, uh, the Great King. He's the one. He's the best. He's the best troop for doing PvP. Right now, best troop. The one thing you have in your arsenal that can completely stop the. The Wand of Stars, as well as completely stop Stellarix, is the Great King. Stop them in their tracks cold. Mm, Dracor says you gotta take uh, wild cards even it's even if it's a three match. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you gotta take them every single turn. And th the thing is, with the way I like playing the game, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I do not like matching a lot of gems. No. 
not my style, right? I want it to be smooth. I don't want to be matching too many gems. Maybe a, a one, three gem match, and that's it, bro. I'm not into matching gems out of hoo-ha. No way. Right? I just want to target down, hit him, kill him, hit him, kill him. Real quick. You know, you know how I play. Real quick. No long... You know, drawn out battles, super fast. That's how I play. I like playing like that. So that's one of the reasons I don't use that triple top shaka um Stellarix team. It it caught it, you have to match too much gems. Don't want I like having Leprechaun on my side. Leprechaun damage. Leprechaun damage. Or Leprechaun into a mass gem destroyer like Bork, the Thrall, Angry Mob. You know, that that's my style. That's my style. Anything else, I get annoyed. Big time. I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. I want to, I like fast teams, man. Like, super fast. <laughs> it's one of my favorite words to use when I'm titling videos. Super fast. Because that's the way I play. Right? I'm just trying to be honest. and Play fast. Fast. I don't want to be doing too much. Not too much gem matching. Fast. That's why I always have like um uh Dragor says Guild Wars is going to be what? It's gonna be dead. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's gonna be a problem when they release it. It's true, it's true. But of course the devs said they're gonna change things up. So it's not gonna be it's not gonna be the Guild Wars that we expect. It's gonna be something else. Or it's gonna be something else. Um which is cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, my mic picking up even the coughing, right? Damn. <clears throat> but I really want to see what they what they come out with, right? I really want to see. It. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be good. Yeah. It's gonna be trash and cause the entire player base base to like complain and and hate it. All right, this is like a loss right now. <laughs> About to lose my troops. Yup. Yep, there's a complete mess up here. Come through, Gay King. Can I get him? Can I get him? Nope, nothing. Nothing. Ooh. It's a quick loss. Alright, let's keep it going. But I think that if the devs do well on um if they do well on on Guild Wars, people are going to love it. And they're going to show. They're going to show their love for it. But if not, she It's going to piss a lot of people off, man. It's going to piss a lot of people off. The main thing that Guild Wars needs to like focus on and have clear and working in the right way, I think the biggest thing is probably the rewards. Right? The rewards. It doesn't matter what the the gameplay is or what they changed if the rewards are there people are gonna play it players are gonna play it right they're gonna play it regardless once it has the right rewards if it doesn't people don't care how good the gameplay is they're gonna hate it they are gonna hate it because that's one of the biggest things about the previous guild wars and the way it was structured right the worst thing about guild wars is the fact that the rewards were trash, man. The rewards were trash. You would you would you would go ham in guild wars. Your your guild wins. Right? And you, what do you get, man? You get nothing. You get some beer bones stuff that you can't really do nothing with. Alright? What were what were the rewards before for Guild Wars? I remember you used to get that Guild Wars troop. Um like Periton and uh Troglodyte and that type of stuff. Right, that, that was it, but who cared about those things? Uh, Bear Razor says on Switch that Shaka isn't released yet. Nah, it is, it is. It's on it's on all platforms now. Uh, Switch is completely caught up, no? The devs like had a mass dumping of troops on the Switch platform, so they got everything. They got everything. I, 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 is there any troop that you're missing still, uh, Dragor? I don't think so. I think I need to use a 20% start on this team. 
probably would be much quicker if I use a point. Bro, again, it, it it missed the last time on this very same fight. Bro, come on, man. Very same fight. Come on, get it again. About to lose the troop. Come on. Sometimes it's, these fights can be so annoying with the low rarity teams, man. They dropped about 40 troops. Wow, that's what Dracor says. About 40 troops, actually. Man. So, yeah, it's a, it's a mass dump of troops. Number one of bracket one got 1,500 gems to all guild members. Yeah, so it, that's the thing. Participating in Guild Wars only benefited the person who is at the top of the top. Top of the top. The number one of bracket one got 1,500 gems. Only number one of... Damn. Only they got it. Only they got it. So why would everybody else even care? It's not worth it. Right? It, it, it's not worth it. That's why players didn't play that much. Right? It, Guild Wars needs to be... Something that players are feeding for because the rewards are so good, right? Especially if it's a one game mode in which you're going to be testing one guild's prowess against the other guild's, you know, prowess. It needs to be worth it, man. It needs to be solid rewards that people are going to be like, damn. Bro, don't mess up in Guild Wars, bro. Like, it needs to be like that. It needs to be so good. People be kicking people because they're not participating in Guild Wars. are not fighting well. I, I want that type of environment. You know what I mean? I want that type of... Uh, I don't necessarily say I want... I don't want people to get kicked out of their guilds. I'm not saying that. Right? I'm just saying that it gives you that type of... Uh, feel. It's like... The, it needs to be like the Olympics. You know what I mean? It needs to be like the Olympics, man. Like... like bro, you're going to come here and do nothing? You're going to come here and just... And just fail? You know what I mean? You want that type of feeling for Guild Wars. Like... Bro, you got to show out. Like, you got to do everything you can... You got to put forward your best foot. Before, Guild Wars didn't really feel like that. You just, just do whatever. Some guilds didn't even have participation for Guild Wars. It was like, put whatever you want over there. Play if you want to play. If you don't want to play, forget about it. Which is crazy to me. I would never have that type of standard for Guild Wars. You got to be playing, man. At all, at all times. At all times. Can't be out here. Lollygagging and... Licking biscuits and shit. Come on, bro. Play. Play for real. Right? So I think the devs need to motivate people. Get people hungry for Guild Wars. Like, yo. Like, yo, you see that reward? Like, and, and if, if, if it can be like a rotating reward system, right? Like, so the, re the rewards for this Guild Wars aren't going to be the rewards for the next Guild Wars. <clears throat> you know what I mean? The, the rewards for each Guild Wars need to be different. Like, yo, the ones... What, the, the, this Guild Wars reward was fire, bro. But the next one, next one gonna be the shit like, like that, like that, right? Like, set your heart on fire. That type of rewards you're gonna be getting. That's what I want to see. Like, players be going crazy, right? Rewards so good to make you want to slap your mama. That's that's type of rewards you want to see in Guild Wars, man. The rewards are so good to make you want to slap your mama. Like food, it's like dinner, man. Well cooked Sunday dinner. That's what that is. The devs need to put their minds together. Like, I know there's not much, you know, brains over there, but come on, man, put them heads together. Come, come to get, come out with something good. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> something decent, man. Yo, chat. I need a lineup like a mother. Now look at my my line, man. Shit's crazy. I'm looking at it in the stream right now. This shit. Nah, bro. Mm -mm. I might line up my hair today. It's crazy. It's wild. Now, Jeez. Need to get it together. Well, what do y'all think, man? Y'all y'all agree with me or not? Y'all agree with me or not? You think that those are... Uh, that's the way it should be set up? Or y'all disagree?
Uh, Draco says we're getting the rest in the mail, apparently, or something like that. Whoa. What are we getting in the mail, bro? What are you talking about? What do you mean, man? Yeah. One of the main things they need to work on is some of these bugs, man. Every single time they drop, they drop something new in the game, it's bugs galore. Bugs, 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 and more bugs. Everything is bugged. Nothing is never bugged. That's one of the most annoying things. One of the most. Come on, that's crazy. Mass kill. There we go. Got the win. Um, mm -mm, I was thinking of something just now. What was I thinking about? Thinking, thinking. What was I thinking? Oh, I need to check my. Let's check here. I'm fifth place in my league. Am I on the leaderboard? Far from. Jesus. Leaderboard is crazy this week. Oh, it's okay. Sheffield is at uh, the number one spot. So number number one and number two are both uh, Nemesis Guild. And then number five is Nemesis as well. A lot of Nemesis players on the, on the top. They're going crazy. Uh, yeah, I want to grab this. Let's grab this. Here we go. We have some gold marks. Let's put those aside. And chat, let me just grab. Just grab this real quick. I, I picked up actually like back to back weeks getting purple deed books here. So let's see what I can get now. Another purple one. Yes. Yes. Not bad, man. Not bad. Before I was popping these. And I was only getting yellow, right? But now I'm getting a lot of purple. So this is this is like three or four weeks. I've been getting purple deeds, purple deeds. I hope it continues. I hope it, I hope it continues. Hope next week I can do the same thing. Pick up some more purple. Wow, that's good. That is really good. Um, maybe I can use some of my my victory talismans here. Hmm. Yeah, let's attach these. 40 fights in which I'm going to be getting double. Should I do them now? Nah, I think I should take these off. Nah. Let me wait until I get a blood frenzy for a colored region. Chad, should I put them on now or should I wait? What do you guys think? What do y'all think, man? I'm not sure. Let's run through a couple fights. Let me think about it. I might want to save those for when I have a blood frenzy in one of these areas. Oh, I keep on forgetting to put the 20% start. Bruh. There we go. Got it. <clears throat> Bro, are you still here? Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, what am I doing here? Um, let's go up against... Let's put a 20% mana start. Keep on forgetting. There we go. This is going to make it a lot better for getting spell ready quickly. Now I should be able to cast my Suitsayer anywhere. Doesn't matter. Because I'll have three mana. There we go. Big boy damage. Big boy damage. Yeah, man. Great King is so good in this. <laughs> this is crazy. It's crazy. Um, center fight again. Yo, anybody in the chat going for leaderboard or not? Thought that some players might do it, but it doesn't seem like that. Oh, that's smooth. That is smooth. That was smooth. Oh, that was really smooth. That's a quick fight, man. I love it when I have like clean battles like those. 
as opposed to some of the annoying ones. Bad RNG. Uh, no suit sayer. Got a big purple here. Nice. Let's cast this anyway. It doesn't matter. Oh, I thought that missed for a second. Fun, sir. Just getting all I can during stream. <clears throat> so, uh, Dragor, how much Valkyries are you going for for the Vault event? Since you're going to be focusing that much on it, you're probably going for a high amount, right? Oh, what was that? Nice. Come on, hit brown. Yup. There we go. Silence. You can't do nothing, sir. Stop matching gems. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> Chat, did I finish all my Underspire battles? Did I? Did I? Yeah, I did. Good. Good, good, good. Sometimes I wonder if I should still, should still use those, um, use that booster for gold farming. Right, I haven't been doing it that much, but it could still be used. Perfection. What a good board. Wow, what a good board. That was so smooth. You have died quickly, Miss Travis. Uh, Dragor, you're going for anywhere from about 300 to 400 keys. Decent. Decent. I might grab similar amounts. I don't have that many um, Paloozas in the bag. I think right now I'll have about seven. Wait, I'm going to try my best to stream. Right? I'm really going to go for it. I'm going to try my best to stream. Um... The main person that sometimes prevents me from streaming is Cam. So she might be watching and be like, what? What are you saying about me? But yeah, you know, baby girl got to have her time, right? So sometimes the, the streaming time with the work, with doing other things, doesn't work out as much. But as you guys can see, I've been trying to put out videos at least so you guys can have some something there. Um, and I'll keep on doing it. Keep on putting out. Oh, come on, bro. Giving the board completed to the enemy here. Oh, we're going to get some gems to line up here. Oh, dude. There we go. Yep. Silence. Goodbye. Massive counter. Massive counter. Goodbye. Wow. I thought that was wrecked for a second there. It seemed like it seemed like it was right there. Hey yo, Cookie Man 420, take care, man. Thanks for stopping by for the stream, baby. Appreciate it. Let's keep it going. Uh let's cast this old boy here. Ooh, I touched the wrong gem. Oh, I should have did brown. Oh, I still got it. Still got it. Not bad. Wow. That was decent. Man. Let's see here. Cool, coolio. Alright, what do I got? What do I got? Got 50 more. And it's on those. Um, hey, yo, chat. I think this is where I'm going to stop for now. I'm going to be streaming Fortnite after this. Um, so I want to say thanks to everyone that stopped by for the stream, man. I think we went about three hours now playing gems. I'm going to be focusing on... <clears throat> what's it called? I'm going to be playing some Fortnite after this, man. Just kicking it. Um, seeing how things work out. If you guys are available, stop by for the stream. I want to say thanks to everyone that stopped by as well. Let's see who is in the chat. 
Shout outs to Clip Bomb, Cookie Man 420, Dragor, Bear Razor, thanks for stopping by for the stream. Banana Man, Lester, thanks for stopping by. Cam was in the stream as well. Sane was on the, in the stream. Mark, thanks for stopping by for the stream, man. Um, who else was here? Cam was here. Mm -mm -mm. McDouble Dad, thanks for stopping by for the stream, baby. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Vigilant Crow, thanks for stopping by for the stream. Jay Shore, thanks for stopping by for the stream, man. Bull, K Swiss, thanks for stopping by for the stream. Dark Side, thanks for stopping by for the stream. Uh, Stacy, thanks for stopping by for the stream as well. Lady Sane, thanks for stopping by for the stream. And YT Flames, thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it a lot. If you guys know of anyone that's looking for good PvP teams, good Guild Wars teams, if we ever get Guild Wars again, and good explore teams. Tell them to come on over and check out the channel. All right, guys.